You jinx them, Matilda. I will have to hurt you. Ooh. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the planning board meeting of November 14, 2012. Tonight, we have Bob Watts, Mr. Christopher Rich, Tilly Evangelista, myself, I'm Harry Lacatilia. We have Howard Snyder and Wendy Beaumont. And your nameplate. For and Wendy. Wendy has a new nameplate, and it's a identify. very snazzy one, I might say. And with, uh, without any further ado, being after 7 o'clock, we'll begin the meeting. First thing is the minutes of October 24th, 2012. Do Mr. I hear a motion? Chairman. Yes, Mr. Rich. I move that we accept the minutes of October 24th, 2012, subject to any edits or changes by my colleagues. And I second that. Seconded by Mr. Watts. Right here. And discussion. The only only thing I saw, which was on page three, uh, number one ten there, where I am speaking, the Cedar Lane it refers to Andover Street, and that's that's what I thought should be added. You 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 want to um, add? It wasn't on Cedar Lane itself. It was on Andover Andover Street that had to do work. So look carefully at Cedar Lane slash Andover Street. Does that clarify it? Mm -hmm. Can we just add that in, Wendy? Slash yes. Andover Street? Yes. Great. Anything else to it? No, that's it. That's all I can recognize. Christopher, you see anything? I myself wasn't here, so I'll be abstaining from this. <coughs> First, you see anything in the mess that... Um, no, I reviewed them online. They looked... Uh, Super to me. Thank you, Great job, Wendy. Yeah. Very Thank good. you. Hey, don't get a big head. And and Holland. We're a team. Great job, Wendy. We, we come together. Great job, Wendy. Wendy, if I give Howard a compliment, it'd be great job. will think I hit my head. Great he'll, job, Wendy. I won't. <laughs> Bob, Bob, especially Howard. The head will start <laughs> flopping over from the way. Uh, uh, that being said. Uh, motion has been made by Chris Rich to accept the minutes of October 24, 2012, subject to the edits and corrections made. Seconded by Bob Watts. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Three yeas, one abstention. Correspondence. We have two letters from the town of Boxford about public hearings for special permits. If you want to review them, they're in the file. We have the vouchers. Uh, Howard, can I see the, the vouchers, please? Yeah. Please have the voucher sheet. Do we have a copy in here? Um, yeah, I don't know if we actually have a copy of the full voucher sheet, but you can certainly review it if you're going to make a motion. Um, Mr. Chairman. Yes, Mr. Rich. I would move that we approve the vouchers, two vouchers. What's the total? In the amount of $147.60. Four cents. So there was a motion made by Mr. Rich to approve the vouchers in the total of one hundred forty-seven dollars sixty-four cents. Is there a second? Yes, I second. Mr. Watts seconds that. Any discussion? Are these? Uh, yeah, are these uh, printed uh, envelopes? Because they and letterhead envelopes. Letterhead envelopes. The uh, self-sealing bags. Um, the planning office ran out of. Uh, <coughs> envelopes to be able to send rolled drawings in. So this is another order that will probably oh, last another know. 10 years. And oh, then the know. second one for Minuteman Press is for um, business size envelopes. And even though it says one unit, it's actually a hundred bags, right? A hundred count. One hundred count Cause, bags. Because we usually order from Mason, isn't it? That we always... WB Mason doesn't. It, this is the one that has planning board in the upper Special. level. Pre-printed. Oh, okay. And WB Mason didn't have any um, reasonably priced mailing bags for roll drawings. Oh, no. oh. Bob, any questions? Nope. Christopher, any questions? None. Call on the question. Motion to approve. Total of one hundred forty-seven dollars sixty-four cents. I'll say aye. 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 Mays. Motion carries unanimously. Right. 
no signature on. That'll be the three that needed. That'll be great. And we will move immediately to the public hearing because it's after 7 o'clock. Bank of America, 38 East Main Street. Included in your uh, packet is a copy of an email I received from the highway surveyors. This was a item that the planning board had requested to be clarified prior to tonight's meeting. And in it, Peter Durkee states that there are town trees and that they would be maintaining them. So noted. Just so everyone in the audience knows what's going on, this is a site plan approval continuation of a hearing. Um, at this point, I would ask anyone in the audience that has any comments, any further comments, please speak now. Going once, going twice, going three times, that's it. Uh, motion to close public comment. So moved. Mr. Rich closes public comment. Second. I, Mr. Watts seconds. All in favor, pu closing public comment. Aye. 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 Julie, was that a, a yay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Motion carries unanimously. Any questions for the, the applicant at this point, Tilly? Now that it's only for board only. No, everything's been completed. That's, uh, the, there's a, a letter here for Larry Graham. Yeah, Everything is done. note the last two pages in your supplement uh, is a letter from Larry Graham and um, a copy of an email Tim Pontoon, the applicant's engineer, received from Deb Rogers, the director of the Board of Health in Georgetown. These are the last two items the planning board had requested at the last meeting. And the applicant has received them? You've, yes. yes. And to, to show that, I'm actually including what the applicant's engineer sent to me to prove that he had received them and reviewed them. So thanks for sending them on. Absolutely. Thank you. And while we looked at the draft decision that we have. That's correct. He seems to like it. As would be reflected by the second last page there, the, his uh, letter of November 14th. Here. Bob, any questions? Nope. Crystal, anything? Any last minutes? Other than a motion? No. Any questions? Um, under normal circumstances, the way I was always taught to this work, close the public hearing. That was going to be my motion. Any other questions from the board? How about you, Howard? You all set? No, the only comment I'd make is uh, because I received the letter mm -hmm. from Larry Graham today, it's not written into the decision, but it can be made in the motion or, or something like that, just if it needs to be recorded now. Can we, uh, can we just stipulate that that letter will be added to the minute? Yeah. Uh, is that okay, Wendy? Yeah. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Yes, I apologize. Okay. The only other comment uh, I would say is on page three of six of the decision. We can do a single line cross out to item 1A. I, can, can we discuss the decision after we close the hearing? Oh, I thought you had closed the hearing. Sorry. No, we closed public comment. Mine, Mr. Chairman. You've yeah. got to read those minutes. That's the same as closing the hearing. No, it is not. Closing the public hearing would require a motion to close the public Closing public, public comments means no one else from the public can uh, yeah. speak. Mr. Chairman. gives us the, the, the I would move that we close the public Mr. hearing. Mr. Rich moves <clears throat> to close the hearing. Yes, sir. Is there a second? Second. Yes, Evangelista. Seconds. Any discussion? One last chance. Anything you need to tell us? Anything? You'd like to say? Or? No, we just appreciate okay. the process and going, you know, going through this with you guys, and we hope that we implemented everything to make you guys happy. And uh, 
Thank well, you could have made me happy, Thank but you, you know how to do that. But, you know, <laughs> that would have been flat on the sidewalk, but we won't even mention that. Now, oh, I just did. I have one question, <laughs> sure. Harry. Mm -hmm. When you start the process, who's going to be inspecting it as it goes along? Larry. Larry. Yeah, that was one of the one of the stipulations. There's four or five things coming out of the last meeting, but yeah, we did add it to the final drawings. You'll see on sheet C4, note 11, just states that Larry should be present during construction and the required inspection. So the contractor would reach out to him and he'll state at what different stages he would like to be out there. Okay. Especially once you get when you're excavating. You're yeah, getting, uh, especially on the drywall, right? Drywall. Yeah. Right. And sure, if he sees anything, he's going to stop you. Right. <laughs> Hope you respect that. Hope you're. Absolutely. Dr. Wayne, then he'll come right back. Is that in the, in the we'll take, decision? We'll take up what we have to take up. It is. Absolutely. Do we have the money to pay that? That, that Larry's going to be inspecting at certain benchmarks? At that event, yeah. And that's from the Yamaha. Oh, the Yamaha yeah. But paid, of course. It's a 4000 right? The Yamaha, or it will be maintained at that. Yeah. Motion to clear has been made to close the public hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Mr. Chairman. Unanimously. Yes, Mr. Rich. Mr. Chairman, I would move that we... Let me get a fresh piece of paper for this one. Because I can just tell you. <laughs> 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 Mr. Rich, make the motion. Can I interrupt my motion for a second? Sure. Howard, what change did you want to make in this decision? Uh, I just wanted to clarify for the board, um, and the board can decide how they want to amend. Page 3 of 6? Page 3 of 6, item 1A. Mm -hmm. What came out of the last meeting is, is that the board would sign C1 through C8 and A09, those drawings on paper, and that C1 through C5 would be signed on mylar because those are the ones that need to be recorded so item 1a states issued on mylars um if we could just do a single line scratch out of mylar and just state paper why don't we put which ones are we going to endorse in paper c1 through c8 and a09 paper That's okay paper. and these are our and these down here sheets c1 through c5 will be the mylars That'll so be why don't we just put <clears throat> the plans to be issued on mylar are c1 through c5 Cross out and A109 and a new sentence, the same as the one that it, we just crossed out. And the plans to be issued on my lab are C1 through C8 and A09, period, in the first one, okay? You repeated Any? the same thing that was there. There's Right, but I would Boy, just... we get paid by the word. Wait a minute now. <laughs> can, um, can, can I... Can, can I, you go over that can, again? Can I, can I maybe yeah. Where it says the final over. site plan, it'll read the final site plan and other plans requested by the planning board, if any, must be signed on Mylar and reviewed and approved by the planning board or its agents. And I would like that to read authorized agents. period. The plans to be issued on Mylar are C1 dash C5 and the plans to be issued on paper are C1 dash C8 and A09. So if I can summarize the mylars are C1 through, through 5, the papers are 1 through 8, and A09, if that's correct, right? Yep. That's a good summary. And that's what, that's what it's going to say at the him. end. Hey, Thumb back. Okay. Uh, Wendy, would you please make a note? Let the record show that Mr. Howard arrived at 728. Here. And Tim, just to let you know, we've, uh, we've closed the public hearing. For this, and now we're just we're. Um, what is this? Uh, this is Bank of this was Bank of America, okay. and we're just, we're uh, working on the decision now. Okay. Is there uh, any other change that anyone would like to see in the? 
the only uh, question I have was just a clarification on uh, section 2D. What page, John? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, three or four, uh, six. Page Tech review four. engineer be present on site just when the um, what page work around uh, three or six. And it's uh, 2D, the uh, mm -hmm. tech review engineer will <coughs> be on site just for the uh, uh, work around the existing drywall and septic system. And that's all. Perhaps we, uh, we want to add something then, to well, that. And any other, any other time he deems yeah. appropriate. I like that. Right. And, and any other time he deems appropriate. How am I doing so far? I love it. Well, you know, I have a question about. Uh, is there any objections to and at any other time he deems appropriate? Is there any objections to that? We'll add that. By unanimous consent. Um, right here um, on page three of six. Two D. Three of six. Two D. Yeah. Technical engineer. Uh, essentially, this this uh, sentence seems to be saying that he would be there exclusively at the time when the proposed work is shown on right. the uh, on the driveway. That's my my this whole section I was questioning because. All of these things should have already been completed, except, you know, obviously the, the engineer has the progress is going. Well, I don't know if the CONCOMs, if they've filed or if they have a sign off yet. As far as the fire department, they need to review the building plans. Well, didn't the fire, I thought the fire department did look at it. Well, I think they looked at the exterior. I think when they get the permit, but we need them to, I want, we would like them to re-sign off on it. They're going to have to sign I don't even know. Oh, when they get this. Right it's now. just a nice old check and balance, etc. Right now, this is the exterior that, they, that they've signed off on. So, so they have to sign off anyway before they get a building inspection. And everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Sure. They'll be one of the blue sheet sign offs. Um, yeah. It's a good catch all. Okay. Should I restart it? Yeah, we, we, we can reboot it. Everything all right? You know, mm -hmm. the machine decided to shut down. But she can catch up on the DVD. Pick it up and we can take a technical we need a minute two minute break. recess. We'll hold on. Not a problem. I'll open up my Diet Pepsi. Let us know when. Uh, I don't even know where. Let us know when you're ready to rock. <laughs> No pressure. We can't put this for 20. Mr. Focus the camera. How would, would you put another quarter in Wendy's laptop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have change for a dollar? I can't even change my mind. Is that everything I did with the In the meantime, we should look at this some more. If there's anything else to see? No, I would, other than, I think in D, or any other times that he, I would like to put, change that to, or the board, deems appropriate, or the board. Mm -hmm. Deems appropriate. Coming up yet, Wendy? Let's see if I is there anything do you, have you gentlemen seen the this proposed decision? I have not. No, we have not. You will. You know you have to name your second born after the children. <laughs> First born. I've never put that on anybody. <laughs> No, I've got a, um, a copy here to be signed with draft not on the cover. Mm -hmm. and but we need to make the changes. Correct. We so need to make what? Yeah. You, so you just have to issue the changes and we'll sign it at the next meeting. Okay. What else can we do? If, if the board approves it. Yeah, well, how about having the advocate review? Well, review some of these conditions. Let them look at it first. They have 20 days to appeal. Assuming it's not denied. <laughs> Which hasn't been decided yet. And as soon as we can take minutes again, we might be able to. I mean, this is the. Yeah, but if they find something that's going to be. That's approval minutes. Just start typing. All right. They could tell us right now. Yeah. 
came back. Yeah. You save it. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. Or? Oh, yeah. we're back in back in business. So there was a motion. Yeah. Chris made a motion to do That's what? As Chris far as I got. <laughs> I made a motion to approve the petitioner's request. Not even on here. Precise plan okay. approval. It's on there. As stated in the draft decision that we have <laughs> with all the conditions listed therein as amended. I, 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 Chris, hang on. Wendy's not typing. Yeah, I, I, I thought so too. Or yeah, I thought you, yeah, never mind. What, you use a Canadian quarter, Howard? <laughs> yeah, just start typing okay. in. We'll find yeah. worth Thank more. Thank you. <coughs> no, shock the system. So if I can summarize, Christopher, you made a motion to approve the decision. Oh, approve the decision. Is it locked up? Wendy? Yeah, it's... it's you, you just... It's just not working. Wendy, take your locked up computer, put it in front of Howard, take that <laughs> new good, computer good. in front of Howard. All right, now what was just discussed? Was motion. Uh, there was I a motion forget. made. <laughs> motion made to approve the decision. To approve the decision <clears throat> with conditions. The six pages that we have in front of us entitled Site Plan Approval with Conditions. Bank of America, number 38, East Main Street. Pages one through six, as amended by the board this evening. In particular, you don't have to call them on. Okay, as amended by the board this evening. Okay, motion is made to approve the the uh, decision, the site plan approval. Pages one through six, as presented tonight, and as amended by the board this evening. Is there a second? Second. Seconded. Mm. By Tim Howard. Any discussion? I still think the applicant to review the, dis the conditions before we vote. 20 days. No, 20 so. days means, Mr. Chairman, the only appeal he has is to go right to the zoning board. He doesn't come back to us. If so they want to change any of the conditions, then you certainly can. But, but if they, they come on in... Has, has the applicant ever received a decision prior to... Not to my knowledge. Yeah. Yes, I yes. That would Sometimes be. they even they even give a draft to the applicants. To the board, rather. Tilly, um, it's 20 minutes off. I'm going to call the question. Duly noted. All in favor of issuing the decision... The approved decision, safe plan approval. <coughs> Pages one through six, as amended by the board this evening, say aye. 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 Tilly, and nay? nay? Are you no, I nay? voted yes, but motion I think... Motion carries. I don't, hopefully, I don't want to see unanimously. you back. <laughs> motion carries unanimously. Thank Certainly you very much. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. If I had a copy, I'd give it to you so you could read it right now. But I'm sure how it's going to email it here in the morning. Okay. I don't think you're going to find it. If your excavator out. operator slips and flattens out the sidewalk in the wall, hold it against you. <laughs> or just leave the keys and Harry will go down. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The mylars? Yep. Okay, Harmony Lane, easements. Want to give us a uh, no, uh, rundown on the Harmony Lane easements? You're going to give the second public hearing a chance to. Um, well, I mean, you're going to give us the I'm rundown sorry. on the old business on Harmony Lane easements. Okay. Please, Howard. Uh, well, we're supposed to sign this. In your planning packet, we'll sign it when we get the you received. Um, Town Council's comments on the easements that were received from the applicant's legal counsel. And those comments have been edited out, the changes being um, underlined uh, with track changes. 
I have spoken with the town's uh, white department, and um, they are amendable to um, accepting the easements. And what I'm going to do is put that up on the screen so it'll be easier. Parcel A, just south of Harmony Lane, which is where the utility uh, lines come in. And then the proposed utility easement that's between lot one and three uh, in the triangle with Harmony Lane. I have spoken with the highway surveyor and he is uh, amendable to accepting the uh, landscape and sight line control easement that is between Harmony Lane and uh, the park and rec land to the north. Are you talking about this right now? Huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, um, what is going to occur next is uh, town council is just going to uh, make one additional change to reflect that. And then these need to be accepted by the voters of Georgetown mm -hmm. as easements. Mm -hmm. And what we can proceed with if so desired by the board is to work simultaneously with the acceptance of these easements of acceptance of Harmony Lane as a street, a town accepted street. I thought he wanted to be private. I didn't think he, did he request to be accepted? If, if he requests Harmony Lane to become <coughs> private, then we can I thought that was the simultaneously initial. work on the street acceptance. If not, we can wait till he meets it. I thought when he applied that he never once mentioned public. We were working on it and moved it by being private. I always private. remember it being private as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, that's 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 have, he never asked for public. I have an issue with that. Tim, you remember that one, Harmony? I don't remember them saying they wanted it to be private. Hmm. I can't say I specifically remember them saying public. But they wanted I, public I don't either. recall them saying okay. private. Can we grant waivers on the on the road, the width? Or anything in Harmony Lane? I can look into that. Sure, it looks like it. Yeah, I, I, it does look it like it. It is a lane. Mm -hmm. It's a lane, but I have a feeling we approved waivers because it wasn't going to become a town road. Mm. And thereby help the town plow it, maintain it. Right. Yeah, but also get chapter whatever money for We're it. We're talking. Yeah. <clears throat> Whatever hundreds of is. feet. Yeah, 120, what is it? 150 feet? 150 feet. <laughs> Not much. But, but I don't know. Understood. Why would they want Point to, made. to keep it Point made. private? Mm -hmm. Point made. Uh, I would look into it. All right. Yeah. If, uh, if the applicant wishes to uh, make that. Uh, well, he would need to petition the selectmen. Petition the selectmen. Select select the selectmen will notify us of, uh, of his desire and we can move forward with it. Right. Good. Great. Thank you. And next the is, other, if I may, Mr. Oh. Chairman, another thing that I have a problem with on this sight line and landscape easement I want to make sure they're not putting in that we're that the town is responsible for as they put cultivating or maintaining any plantings or other ground coverings of flowers to be constructed or maintained in the area. I, I have an issue with that. I don't it's think. going to be written so the town does not accept the proposed 10 foot wide landscape easement that runs up a harmony. Secondly, they have no problem with to prune and remove, mm -hmm. but to maintain the shrubbery, I, I have an issue with that. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're we're not the town of Georgetown's not in the landscape department, or everybody in town should be entitled to it. <laughs> right. And there goes the tax rate again. <laughs> what page are you? Were you reading? We from? all know who pays the highest price for that. <clears throat> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> um, it's under sight line easement. It's about um, the fifth line up, sixth line up. The pages are not numbered. Okay. Moving on. Stone Row, Lot 14, nope. Boundary Markers. Moving on. Stone Row. 
Lot 14, boundary marker. Chairman's on a mission, Howard. Watch out. Howard, quick explanation. <coughs> Do we have something in here? Do you want me to come up now, Jerry? Or... Not at all. Not at all? all right. <laughs> <laughs> really don't, Tim. <laughs> the moot point. <laughs> I really don't want to waste the time. If you look uh, <clears throat> right after the Harmony Lane, you'll see the graphic provided by um, Dave Varga. Dave Varga. Do we have this one home? Yeah. And in your supplemental Who, packet. Whose writing is this? That's Dave Varga. The green? Dave Varga. Okay. If you look in your uh, supplemental packet that was handed out tonight, you'll see this image. Green cover. This is a this is an image I made up. It shows it a little bit more clearly. Move it around. These are the ones, if you with, without having to discern through Dave Varga's um, all of his writing, very clearly these are the ones that Dave says are not set. The two that I consider the most important are the lot lines that are outlined there because those show lot line separation between this parcel and this parcel and this owner and this owner. And from my perspective, those are the most important boundaries that actually can do because they separate lot lines. And those other five, my understanding is there's a waiver request. Uh, they weren't waiving the original plan. The original decision called for all of them to be put in, and now in the field after the fact, we're being asked to waive them. Is that a summarization? Mr. Chairman, could I address the Sure, address now the you board? can. Sure, come on up. Uh, I would disagree. You get three minutes. With, I would disagree with your assessment. They were all, what is it? All, uh, all bounds were waived in the original uh, certificate of vote, okay? Uh, and the, what happened was we agreed in the site visit. Um, and the vote, the, the board voted on the 10:28:09 minutes that the street lot, uh, monuments be located as follows: the first four um, that you have listed there, and uh, the the lot lines between lot one and three and lot two and three. That's what David wanted. Okay, so he wanted six of them. So those, the non-street weren't even; those were waived in, in the original uh, certificate of vote. So that wasn't how I read the decision. Yeah. Do we have a copy? Of I've the got decision? a copy of the decision if you'd like it. So, uh, is that in the. In the yeah, copy? I thought I had provided it. I've got an electronic copy if you'd like to see it. Oh. I haven't seen the. That's what Dave Wilder showed us last meeting, wasn't it? Right. It's electronic. Which section? The certificate looking? of vote is section F on page. I don't, I don't have a copy of the decision. No, that, that was handed out at the last meeting. It's on page two. <coughs> this is all harmony. harmony, harmony. Yeah. So the, the question. In, in my eyes, the lot lines are marked, okay, except for the two that say lot lines right there that you point out, um, Harry. Yeah, we need a copy of the decision. Okay. We don't have a copy of the decision. We'll move this out to next week. It's taking too much time. Uh, continue this to what's that next week? Wait a minute. Hello. What? Tim. Yes, sir. If I may, Mr. Chairman. It's taking a lot of time, burning a lot of time tonight. Well, <laughs> you're the one that put the nine o'clock thing on. I did. Yep. And everybody's entitled to their say, and I don't like it. Cut somebody short. Well, we don't. Can have you give me the section again? And sure. It's uh, that you're saying that you say allows it in the certificate of vote section F, subsection two. Wave street bounds under SR 365-35CF. C SR 355. SR 365-35.C sub subparagraph seven. According to the certificate of vote, it waves 
that require all strict compliance with, and there's a listing of 11 different paragraphs that gets waived. Okay. When we came back in afterwards, and Dave wanted the four, excuse me, one, two, three, four, six bounds put in during the the pre-site visit, we agreed to that, and you guys approved that. And on, and I have copies of that if you'd like on the 102809 board meeting. Okay, and I have copies for everybody if you'd like that. So the question ends up being the the three circled ones that are part of a the street that never got put in, right? Is do you guys want those bounds or not? You know, I, it doesn't matter to me. I need to get this project over. So if you want the bounds, put the bounds in. They don't mark anything. It's a non-existent the three street. on the right side. The the three kind of circle at the curves at before the, curves. the bulb starts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the three at the curves are the question marks that are not in One, right now. Two right. And they don't Three. mark anything out there because that remember that street didn't go in. It's a shared driveway that went in. Right. Okay. That don't that are probably fifty to hundred. Yeah. Probably fifty to hundred feet from those from the two on the top. The question with the lot lines is the question I've asked David to give me an answer. And the problem with those two, one has an iron pipe already in place, and it's it's within inches from the underground electric utilities. The other one is in the same situation. There's no iron, there's no iron pipe, but the that service, that electrical service, services going down the lane, back towards the one house, and over towards the other electrical. So there's three electrical pipes going in, right where that bound is supposed to be. So I asked David. I said, "Does this make any sense to put a bound where the underground utilities are?" Time out. So, yes, sir. Did the plans show it? That way, or was well, the, uh, the, was the, the, the plans, utilities the plans don't show the utilities? Well, usually, the utilities no, plan they does. they do. The bounds were all waived. Remember, okay? So the plans show that the lot line goes in there, but the plans don't show a bound because all bounds are waived. Well, I I would disagree with you that. Know, considering that, that that sign there, that insignia right there, is a bound, and it showed on the plans. And I'd look at the the front great face page of the very first part of the decision yep of the plans and i would want to look at that but okay we're you're, burning you're a right. little more time tonight okay then yeah. then we would then we were hoping for on this okay can we have we'll bring this back your indulgence yeah. next week yeah. sure and we'll have uh, a next Barga. meeting sure we'll have all the information excellent and no, we're, not, we're not talking through our hat and i i would really i would like to see the decision i want to read the minutes of that meeting We'll have them. Okay. Now, just to be clarified, that I can provide the board with what you're requesting and Tim wants you to see. Mm -hmm. Tim, you want them to have a copy of the minutes of 102809? No, I would like yep. the minutes of the meeting that voted it. But all said and done, right. the minutes are not valid. It's the plan that we signed. If the plan is ambiguous, the minutes may help show what the intent Suffice it to say that any of what the intent you may of the order was. That's what we provided. Will be provided. Yeah. Right? So, Harry, right. first page of the plan says something different than the certificate of vote. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see them all. Okay. Let's see them all so that we can show. <coughs> this debate. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Thank Tim. you. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Now we have Harmony Lane boundary markers. So turn Jesus. it back on. What's going on with the <laughs> So is this going to be continued? Yeah, to December. Oh, uh, you better have your boundary markers back on your plan. Let's square it up while we're on boundary markers. In your supplemental packet, after the green cover sheet, you'll see a stapled section starting off with an email I received from Chairman of the Planning Board. What's his name? What are we doing? Now, um, <laughs> old business new No, <laughs> it's still it's yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Was it Hugh Hefner? It just says H. <laughs> is, uh, is, is the diagram yeah. now that accompanied that? The what? Is the diagram, the, the, the sketch? From Dave Varga? 
Yeah. Oh, keep I didn't receive a, a sketch right. from Dave on. And he was working full time. He wasn't this anal about this stuff. We have to do the follow up. When was he working full time? Oh, it's just up at Seabrook Road. Nice. Oh, here we go. What are we looking for? Here we go. Anyway. We're looking for this one. This diagram? Yeah. 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 Can you call that out? The one that's in front of me? Oh, okay. Great. You Great. spin that around. Okay. We're looking at what's on the screen. It's on the screen. Yeah. I didn't realize it was up there. Uh, we're looking at the three bounds that are between at Harmony Lane. <coughs> According to Dave, those three bounds of the circle aren't in yet. That's my understanding. That was on his last report. Correct. And uh, just want some clarification from the board. Those specifically were not waived in the decision. They were called out. All the other bounds were, were waived, but those were specifically called out in the decision. You remember that night? Because I held up the boat. <coughs> and you probably remember it too, Tim. Uh, just could you check with with Mr. Varga to make sure that those are installed? Okay. okay. And is there any question from the board as to whether they want them? Those well, they should be because they're real. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I just wanted to make it clear to everyone and make sure everyone understood that. That shows the separation between not only the lot line between lot one and lot three, mm -hmm. for the benefit of the, uh, the two folks that live there or will be living there, but it also shows the separation between the subdivision and the town owned parking rec land. Mm -hmm. Good? Right. Good. Moving on. Great. Great. One, two, three. All the old business is done. We'll hold off on the new business, we'll hold off on the planning office business, and we'll go directly to the second public hearing of the evening. Park and Rec Athletic Facility, 161. East Main Street continued. And the very first thing here would appear to be a letter powered from the building inspector. A new letter. Yep. Yeah, I just Everything. need to uh, fuck myself. Sorry to take everything out of uh, out of order there. That's all right. Just wanted to clear that up before uh, while we're still um, waking up. The planning so, office received from John Metbeer, the uh, town inspector of buildings, in the big packet, in email, um, outlining how the uh, park and rec is in a floodplain. Uh, a special permit would be required, but from the uh, zoning board. <laughs> okay, and now that Lou's completed his presentation. <laughs> you, you'll is find that, that after one of the blue sheets that says public before, hearing. Just before new business. Is that in the packet? Oh, yes. yes. Just before. Can you give me a hint? Wherever, wherever new business is. Look for the right blue sheet that says public hearing. Number two. Exhibit one. There you go, buddy. Or I give up. You're on that. There you go. I don't know where it is. Okay. Uh, with the record show, Jim Demento, chair of the Park and Rec, and Lou Mamelet, engineer from Practical Infrastructure, are before the board. This is the continuation of the Second permit hearing for 161 East Main Street. Uh, Lou, uh, just just so that everyone understands, I uh, I did watch the meeting after the hearing. Excuse me, after the um, the fact the day after, and uh, it seemed to me, Lou, that you didn't have a chance to actually finish your presentation. It got late. If uh, if the board would like, if it pleases the board, we'll let Lou finish his presentation. So move. I don't know, we need a motion for that, do we? I'm, I'm uh, good. We yeah, just go all we'll sort of nod our heads on that one, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Thank you. What, oh, you can't find it? I don't have it. Oh, it's a single page. What we're here to present, um, obviously, is the, the development of construction for phases one and two for uh, a project identified as East Main Street Recreational Facilities. Um, Losing ground there, buddy. That's going to flip over. Yeah, we are. We are. Good. 
I believe we uh, identified the, the nature of the project, but uh, just to reiterate, uh, the project has two phases. Phase one involves some improvements to the um, access road into the parcel. Uh, that's the road that folks currently know as the driveway to the New Life Church, which the town owns as part of the land of the back. Um, some additional roadway improvements and um, in the back parcel, uh, a gravel uh, parking lot and a concrete skateboard park. Uh, the second phase of the project would involve um, extending the road um, to an additional parcel where there would be the construction of a, a pony league size baseball field, um, a dog park, and a turnaround area. Um, for people to, to get back out. The roadway is 20-foot uh, width gravel. Uh, we're proposing 4-foot uh, width uh, cast-in-place concrete sidewalks. I think the, the idea with the sidewalks clearly is to um, separate uh, pedestrian traffic from vehicular traffic coming through there. Um, it, it may be a little unorthodox to have concrete sidewalks and uh, in a gravel road, but unfortunately right now the the funding is such that uh, we're, we're trying to permit this thing for the long term and then build it based upon what we have funding for. Um, there's no real indication at this point that we would get adequate funding to do any kind of um, <coughs> paving through there, um, even in, if we were to, whether it's pervious pavement or, or traditional pavement, um, the cost of that is just... is. is prohibitive at this point. Um, so the roads basically are, are, are being proposed as gravel. Um, Non-traditional drainage, no um, no uh, catch basins and, and storm drains and outlets. Is that called cross-country drainage? Um, it's, some of it's country drainage. <coughs> some of it's uh, intended to be, um, instead of sheet flow to grassed areas, um, it would be more... Um, the attempt would be made to collect it and put it into rain gardens. <coughs> the project, I guess, as a whole, in terms of adding impervious area to um, to this, to the whole project site, it has the equivalent of about um, something like four single-family house lots, which actually is the threshold for, um, you know, not requiring any stormwater management. So I, I guess in terms of overall impact the project is fairly low impact um, but the park and rec's position too is is, is to provide stormwater management um, you know, to something that's that's practical and and cost effective uh, for the project and that's what we proposed um, don't have a whole lot more to add at this point Understood. thank you thank you very much uh, at this point um, before we send anything off to Larry Graham, I would hope that we uh, had a chance to look at the plans ourselves. I know I did. I had some comments <laughs> and some questions. Sure. Uh, um, Tilly, do you have any questions that you referring to? I plans? looked at the plans and there was a lot of uh, measuring that was not identified <laughs> on the plans. It was like, Particularly, I was concerned about the road, as you, as I commented, and there was no detail. We don't know. You know, I was wondering how Larry was going to go about it. Any, any specific data you were referring to? It was just like the only measurements you had with the elevations was, I think, on the where the church property is. You had those labeled uh, elevations. <coughs> And you drew a line to the road, but being on the road, your numbers didn't jive with the road. I think the idea when you're <laughs> when, when you're altering the topography um, in a in a project is you show the existing contours, 
um, you identify proposed contours and then you tie those back into existing, essentially grading them back into as far back as the project corridor or the project area would go. So if there's something that's unclear, we could certainly, yeah. I, I mean, I know we're going to have a few revisions to this, to these drawings, and so we could certainly identify those more clearly or or, or address issues. Did you put them on up. any of these plans? Did I miss it? Or? No, so this, really? this, this. I, I know where you're going, and perhaps well, my, my goal here tonight, if, if we can do it, and probably within about 20 minutes, if we rock and roll through it, what I'd like to do is I'd like to look at it more, not page by page, but certain uh, critical pages. Sure. And perhaps we could get the information shown on the plan that everyone would like to see. And then we could get those plans back before it goes to Larry Graham. Sure. So that Larry isn't reiterating those things. Sure. And then he can focus more on the details. Okay. Got it work for everybody? And, and sure. like you mentioned that you're not going to put any storm drains in at all. Is, and I'm not sure, Howard, is that correct? If you have four houses, it's not required to have storm drains. No, I, I'm not real familiar. So, so I, I think it was more of a, a, com a comparison. Um, I never heard with, of it, with, so. with with the with the impact, but it's as I gather from from Wu's discussion that it, it's so minimal that everything can be accommodated with bioengineering. I I, I guess could be yeah. a term as opposed to underground utility right. type of capture. If you, we'll, we'll if you put a road in, if you, uh, uh, just let me say this, if you put a road in, uh, you know, if you, a, a paved road, full lot subdivision in from a street that was already paved, you'd, you'd put two catch basins at the corners right. in, and you'd have catch basins at the low ends. Right. We're talking about a, um, a project that's paved, so it's all impervious. We're talking about Curves curbing. that would concentrate the flow. Right, right, exactly. In, in other words, the the improvements or lack of improvements, I guess, depending on how you look at it, actually concentrates the flow and is conducive to a traditional stormwater collection. And unfortunately, oh, sorry, um, in this particular case, where where virtually all the roads are going to be imperv uh, are going to be pervious, um, what I look to is the overall impact. As I said before, it's a it's an area that it's in a watershed of about 300 acres, plus or minus. Um, we're proposing to add the equivalent in uh, of impervious area, equivalent to what you would have for four, four residential house lots. If you look at the stormwater management um, regulations that go with a regular notice of intent, there is a, there's a threshold there below which. Um, stormwater management requirements could be waived. We're not asking for them for them to be waived. I'm trying to give a sense of perspective here of of what this project does uh, from a stormwater perspective um, and I guess just ask for some, not leniency, but but I guess to factor that in when we're looking at what it is, what's what's the best course of action to do this. Well, we propose some. Well, that's where the elevations come in. Is that, is that what I could determine based on you know, guessing because there was no numbers on it, the road itself. I think the elevations you're going to have it, it just a quick glance at this, which mm -hmm. wasn't complete because the numbers were missing. Uh, is that you've got elevation and then you're going to, you're definitely going to have water puddles all along that road because it's like this. <laughs> I think what I think w one of the things that. One of the things that could be done to, to clarify this a little bit more would be to show cross sections at say 50 foot intervals. But I, I think the one thing to remember here is is if the road is crowned through this area, mm -hmm. th this is a th this is lands. If you'll if you kind of recall from any site walks that are out there, it's a sliver of land that enters in where there's wetlands. Or, or existing bodies of water virtually on every side or along the entire perimeter. So basically everything for all intents and purposes is going to shed to the outside and eventually is going to land in a wetland or in an existing pond. And I think the idea would be to try to grade to that to such a degree that that happens and then require and, and then allow enough enough buffer and setback, which is one of the things that Conservation Commission requires 
to allow for some you know sort of natural uptake of the water and and any other and any pollutants that would go with it that's why we need the dumps too. that's why i think it's incomplete for us to not have the numbers i think they have to be there i don't know how the comp com let's, even let, let's look at them clarify page by page. do you have a road profile is there actually a road profile sheet? i i have it but it's it's not included and in, i didn't include it in the set i mean the, unfortunately this this area is so flat mm -hmm. that the, you, you, you could almost a flat line. You, you could almost you could almost grade it to whatever you want. And and unfortunately, what what I've been tasked to do here is to de design something before any real clearing has happened. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this is all what we're hoping to do after we do some clearing. Which area well, is flat? Excuse me, Mr. Chairman. Which area is flat? Once you come down from the, the, the there's a grade of somewhere between three and eight percent from East Main Street up to the top of the hill, the, the top of the, where the church is, uh, a corresponding negative grade back You're down. You're talking from the Iron Gate in? Could you the plans no, real quick? From, from East Main Street. Show us the existing community. Yeah, but the area that you're saying is flat. Well, once you from get to East the Main to where that Iron Post used to be, is or used to be? Yeah. What? At, or at, from the C1. iron post up to the field. Maybe C1 would, would be helpful. Uh, while, while Lou's looking for that plan, um, it, I seem to be hearing questions that um, would, would, uh, would lend me to believe that um, people aren't personally familiar on the board with the, the parcel itself. I'm lucky with you. I've been on that on that parcel more than you have in okay. your whole lifetime. Well, um, I, I don't. <laughs> Do we want to know those details, Tilly? I don't. I, don't I know had seven children, Harry. Uh -huh. They all went to that Baptist church mm -hmm. for their uh, summer program, and well, they were all into the been soccer. Been that far. <laughs> They've been and, this far. And, uh, you know, but I, 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 really, I have driven that road. I'm very familiar with it. That's why I, I really was. I, I, and I understand. And, <laughs> but I, I, I'm wondering if if, <laughs> if we could all use uh, a refresher on not just this section, but this section. I yeah, think because for me, I'm not familiar with the problem. I think, You're not familiar. I what, think what where the chairman is going, is, Tilly, is a site visit. Maybe a site walk would be I have been, how many times, Lou, have we met on there since you oh. started this project? Many. I've walked it with him. Okay. Um, well, I've walked it with there, the There's car four car other ones that can walk from a site to <laughs> answer. Hey, no. and it, maybe Harry needs to walk. Wanna, <laughs> I, I, I've done a walk, too, but I just, I just want to back up for a moment when we're talking about grades and elevations. And just mention a conundrum, I guess, that Lou is up against. For Lou to accurately grade and to show elevations, he knows and needs to know what the existing elevation conditions are. And that's extremely difficult when you have a site that's fully wooded. All he can do is take topos from aerials, and the, the inaccuracy that exists with that makes the grading very difficult. In order, for, in, in order for, for an engineer to accurately grade and understand what the elevation is going to be, it needs to be uh, a more of an open site. Lou can't have any of the trees cleared. It's not true. Well, it, it's just not true, Howard. Well, I believe it is, and that's why I'm stating it. We've always seen uh, We can agree to disagree. Right, but if you consider the fact that subdivisions occur you get a preliminary plan and they don't go in and tree it and then come back and say this is what our grades are this is what our elevations are they come in with the gps elevations they take the time to get their benchmarks go out and get their elevations at their benchmarks and bring them in and say these are the elevations this is what we intend to do otherwise you'd have a bunch of treat areas that people said, well, we were thinking about doing something here. It, 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 it just doesn't happen. And while you're absolutely correct, Chris, it, it certainly can be done. I know it's <coughs> one of the dilemmas that they have here is that the easiest, most cost beneficial way to the town would be to go in, tree it, stump it, and then see where your elevation is. Because you know from, from experience that once you tree an area, you change the elevation greatly you're going to have compaction or you're going to have you're going to have loss you're going to have compaction and at that point if you've already stated what your proposed elevations are 
you're trucking in fill. And you understand that, and any contractor understands that naturally. Well, the question is, do we want to truck in fill, or do we want to look at this and say, well, we're going to end up with an elevation of X. And if that doesn't work with the wetlands, fine, then we'll fill. But if we don't have to, we can go at that point. Then my question is, to play the devil's advocate, and only to play the devil, the devil's advocate, and keep in mind, let me preface it with this. I'm a cheerleader for this project, but I'm the cheerleader who wants it done according to the rules and regulations, right by the letter of the law. That's fine. I, no, I understand. I, could I offer... Just well, let me finish my point. So what are they doing before the planning board now? They don't know what their elevations are. They haven't got a clue. Mm -hmm. Can, can I jump in and just yeah, because, I, I, because I, I don't think that's accurate. I, I, I don't think it's accurate away. either. Well, okay. okay. Let, let me let me let me play lawyer then. All right, I'm going to put you on the witness stand. What are your elevations? Okay, let me let me. What are your elevations? Tell me what your elevations are. You, you know, don't know. The, the existing and proposed elevations are on the drawings. I know because I put them there myself. Um, let let me just try to tie together some of these comments because. Okay. Well, I guess I, I kind of agree day with day everybody day. up there, and I know you can't do that. Effectively, <laughs> well, necessarily. Object to that. Um, <laughs> well, which are proposed is, and which are it is, it is difficult, is and I, I, I'm going to agree with Howard and say that it, that it is difficult for, okay. to try to evaluate the elevations. Yeah. When this project started, we were working with mass GIS level contours. Mm -hmm. That's for planning only. You can't use anything on the ground with that unless you're looking for bus in the survey. So without clearing the land, which we didn't have the ability to do, I took it upon myself to get in there and get on the ground. When you use GPS, unfortunately, with the cover, the, way, the canopy the way it is, that's not always effective either. You know, I, I brought the benchmark in from the street, from a, from a, a mass, you know, mass highway bound, mm -hmm. brought, the, brought the elevations into the site, went through all those areas and shot them myself hacking things down with a machete. I mean, I did the, I did the legwork. Um, Not near a wetland, of course. No, no. But we walked right by one. Um, so, in my mind, the elevations are on the drawing. They may not be, they may not jump off the page because they're not plotted at the right pen weight. That's something we can certainly address. But the existing and proposed contours um, are on the drawing. And, I, and we can flip page by page and show that. I, I see yeah, that, they're, but they're it's right. not on the road. So and the thing is, is that, and, and that's fine. And that's fine. And honestly, to put them on the road, the better way to do it is to go cross sections. What I'm trying to do, I mean, we have 27 sheets of drawings right now. So if I go cross sections, we're looking at another 10 more, or 12 more sheets, which I don't really care. But, 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 I, and I'll certainly be happy to do that. What I think you're going to find out is, it's wicked flat through there, and that's that's that. We can make all the profiles you want. Well, I'm not even concerned beyond the road right now. This is the first phase you, you sure. identified, and as far as the rest of it, the fields and, the, and whatever, you have to go to floodplain first, uh, con -con second. Right, I, I want to. So these plans may look different when you're done. And I understand that. So well, I only address the road. Let, let, <laughs> let, me, let, me, finish answering, let me finish answering the question. Yeah. Now, now to, um, to Chris's point, uh, Make sure I get this right. Okay, so I'm I'm agreeing with Howard, but in terms of being able to clear this thing out, once you get into clearing this thing and stumping it, yeah, you might have to bring in fill. But some of this is in a floodplain area, which means we have to bring in fill because we have to get back to the same elevations that we started with, and that really is the intention. Um, this project floats. And I don't mean in a bad way. Elevation-wise, it floats. It doesn't have to be at the elevations that are here. The elevations that are critical are, 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 are driven by certain requirements. If we were putting a septic system in and you needed a certain separation to the groundwater, um, you know, that's one area where, where you might really you know, have a problem with this site because there's some spots where the groundwater is maybe four or five feet down. Now, maybe that's not, not such a bad thing. We did borings through here, not just a, a test pit in one or two spots. We did borings through the road, and then we made our way into the upland areas and did some additional borings to try to figure out what the 
what that separation was and what the material was, especially in the area where we want to put the skateboard park because that's the one place where we're really going to do something that feels like a building, that's going to load the soil like a building. Um, and I, I think we have adequate materials out there. I think we have adequate separation to the water. Um, and, it, and in most cases, it replicates what the water surface elevation is in the ponds adjacent to it, which would make a lot of sense since they're basically just uh, gravel. Ground water. Taken ground. Out, taken out. It's the groundwater table breaking out mm -hmm. to, to surface. Um, can we, can we first, do, does the board want to have a sidewalk? Is there any anybody that wants to have a sidewalk? We've had three, no, because I've been there okay. three or four times. Then fine. Then <laughs> no one wants to have a sidewalk? I don't have a problem with it. If Lou wants to educate, if you want to, like I have no problem with Sorry. walking the site with you, Lou, and whoever, and have you point out what you want us to remember. Sure. None can whatsoever. Have, can we have a sidewalk date? Is Saturday. there a good day that works? Saturday. I'm not available this Saturday. No, no. Not this Saturday, no. Sunday? Christmas Eve. <laughs> is a Sunday good for everyone? Would everyone want a Sunday? In other words, in other words, Mr. Chairman, this is not ready for Larry. Well, no, and I, I don't think it's ready for Larry. I'd like to see a few. There are a few more details that I'd like to see. Sure. And I'd really like to go through it page by page tonight, mm -hmm. very, very quickly, and just have the board tell Lou what needs to be on it so that he can put that on it. And once he puts it on it and gets back to us, then we can bring it to Larry. Mr. Chairman, if I, I may. think that'll be a little more affectatious. Do, can we resolve the um, can we resolve the site day? Sunday would be the 18th. The 18th? That work for you, Bob? I'm available after two. After two. Work for you, Chris. Sunday after two. Nobody early in the morning. Cannot do five. As soon as the sun comes Start. up. Start. Yeah. yeah, seven. <laughs> and no, five thirty. <laughs> singing in the choir from eight to noon. Tim? I can't go. I'd have to go at like 9 or 10 in the morning. What about next Saturday? What's next Saturday look like? What, what's that date? 24th. 24th. 24th? Next Saturday's fine. Wide open. 7.30? <coughs> yes. Get it done. Yeah. Dark. 7.30 a.m.? Let me drop that down. And you said that that was November 24th, 4th, Saturday, 7.30, work for everybody? A.M. site walk. Can you send any me an email things? about that? Yeah, I'll send a reminder out there. That would be very helpful. Lou, if, if I may, uh, let, let, let's look at some plans here. And um, Chris, you, you, you had mentioned something. You wanted to see something at, at a point where an iron post is. Or do you want to just go through the plans? Like I'll go through the plans, but I would like to say one thing about mm -hmm. the exercise of going through the plans. Sure. Not that I think it's not my intent to try and micromanage you, but I think anything that we can get you to put on the plan that we see as a flag will keep the cost down with the engineer, with the inspecting engineer. Sure. In the review time. And the review times, which lowers the bill, sure. keeps the cost down, and moves the project forward. Not a problem. Don't take any of this as a criticism, please. No, I'm, I, I'm, I'm looking that's forward to I, it. That's what I'm going to say. The idea, the idea is not to be right. The idea is to get it right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that attitude. I like it. Uh, I'm looking, if you, know, you want to follow along, I'm looking at C1.1. And um, what I'm noticing here, Lou, is um, a radius that looks as if it might be the layout of the road. You're showing edge of pavement. You're showing limit of work line and that radius that's that's pulling along here. Mm -hmm. And that's a limit of work line. Where is the county layout line? Where is the road layout? Uh, the back of the, the back of the radius here. So that is the right of way of the town. That's the town layout for the county road. Correct. And taken from Mass DOT. Taken from Mac. Could you could you point that out, please? No, is, no excuse me. The, isn't that still State Road One Thirty Three? It's a State Highway. That's a State Highway. Mm -hmm. It's not a town. It's not. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. I'd like that pointed out. Okay. I'd like that. Good. Good. 
throw an arrow and, and label that. And that road that is how wide? The state road? Uh, I believe it's 50 foot. It would be a 50 foot right away. But the, but the paved part of that road is... Mm-hmm. What? The paved part of that road? Well, we'll, we'll. Yeah, and, and this is my point. We, uh, we made... 60 foot. Uh, 50 foot, Six, right 50 foot? 60. 60 feet? 50 foot. And what part of that is the paved? And what part of that is the... You, Lou, do you want to redline it? Just redline it Yeah, there? you want to redline it for us so, you can, so we can see that? Or maybe you can cross-hatch it quickly just to show where the pavement is and where the, where the layout actually is of the county road. That's one edge of pavement. No, this is the this is the. Uh, oh, county road. That's the county, county layout. This is the county layout. Uh huh. So, so what you're saying is, the private property comes much more quickly than we would need a radius, and I think that's going to be important for Larry to know that that is not just limit of work, but right of way. So what he's saying, Larry wants to see that. You want to put an arrow and say, you know, mass line, so he knows when he's looking at that. That's all. Yeah. Because the radius will be a lot easier to make and achieve on county layout. Just just write it with an arrow. Uh, uh. And, and, and how did you? Could you just highlight the sidewalk for me? How did you determine these measurements, uh, Lou? Did you get the plans from the state or? Yes. And the sidewalk is in the state? The town sidewalk is in the state right of way? I think the state sidewalk is in the state right of way. Well, that's the state road sidewalk? Yeah, I mean, it's anything that's in the state right of way is owned by the state. Oh, and, I see. and in terms of the who owns it, um, interesting. Let, let's put it this way: the, 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 the town mm -hmm. owns the downtown, and that's still part of uh, the, the, the state right of way. So there, there's sort of a distinction as to where um, where it ends. You know, if you get out to the approach to where the uh, on ramps off in of 95, it clearly gets in a, a, a corridor that is absolutely owned. By the state, but once you get to a state numbered road, that distinction kind of can go away a little bit, and uh, some of that um, is kind of unclear. A state well, highway can be on town owned property, hmm? a state highway absolutely does not have to sit on state owned property. Uh, understood, mm -hmm. understood, but the state still has jurisdiction over it, they have jurisdiction over. The measurements, passing, speed limit, and the conduct on the road. <laughs> so be nice when you're out there. So there is there is a white line I noticed in front of the entranceway. I'm sorry, Tony? There's a painted <clears throat> sidewalk in the entranceway, right? Yes. Right. Now is that oh, you're saying, property okay. or is that state property where that Painted sidewalk is. Uh, that would be the state. <laughs> That's sort of a, the projection of the sidewalk over to the other side, mm -hmm. where there is no sidewalk, just a, a sort of a widened breakdown lane. Did you discuss this with Peter at all? Um, I, I did, and I mean, our position is is that what we're trying to do is to construct something that's <laughs> not on the on the state right of way. Mm -hmm. Um, insofar as we can avoid impact on the state of right away, we'd like to do that. If it becomes apparent that we can't construct this project without impact on the state right away, I think the park and rec is looking for someone to dictate that to them. Because unfortunately at this point, the project that they've proposed does not have budget to go out and start making 
improvements to the right of way. And the other portion of it is, is I think the lead time associated with getting that kind of approval through the state is something that they're trying to avoid if it's possible. If it's not possible, they're not looking to skirt any issue, any jurisdiction. I guess what they're looking for here is, it is to have somebody with oversight um, identify whether or not that's a deal breaker for this project. And if it is, they want to know that as soon as possible so they can proceed down that path. So you, you, you haven't spoken to this thing at all? I, I have not because we're not proposing to change anything in the state right away. All right. Well, like, we, yeah, <laughs> last, yesterday I spoke with Peter. I saw him at a different meeting. Okay. We had a short conversation. And what he told me is there is a contact person that you can reach. And he's told me that the state owns 50 feet of that area, of that highway. So you're presenting 60 feet, makes me wonder what's going on. So that's why I asked you, did you actually see the plans that the state has? These were taken from the state's website. Uh -huh. the, the, the state right away plans are online. Well, I might suggest- It might actually be slightly wider here at this at this radius, yeah, uh, in the state highway, than the, the typical right away is fifty always foot right of way. What, I would, what, I would I'm, what I'm showing here is Chile, the right of way is always wider than the paved area. Right. Yeah. Well, I would, I would suggest that you talk with Peter. Is there anything else you'd like to see on that plan? Yes, um, because my issue, as I have repeatedly <laughs> said, yeah. was getting in and out of that area. And if there is a possibility that the town does own 10 feet mm -hmm. and the state doesn't, then you would have a nice egress and an exit. The, the issue right now is not the width of the road in terms of it, 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 what you're looking at is the radius at the entrance and egress to this driveway. Right. The, the state is not furnishing you with the additional area you would need to, to furrow out for. that radius. What, what you'd need you'd need to go to United Foam and or the church. We've approached both of them. The church essentially has said, we've given you everything you asked for, and we, we really can't give you any more. United Foam said, we have a parking problem in the front. About the only thing that would entertain is maybe, and this was probably where the site walk would be very helpful, um, it, it is maybe clip in the corner where the curbing is where the mulch bed is, which, by the way, is probably on the state's land, not their land. Interesting. Um, and then you run into another issue. You're going to increase your curb cut. You have to get state approval from the right of way to increase your curb cut. Yeah. Let's find out what we have there, what is there. Let's show it, and then we can deal with that. The one thing is, if you do cut the trees down that are, I have pictures that shows the shrubs there, you improve the sight line from both looking down towards the center of town to about 800 feet if you so if you don't remove those trees what they've said we could remove you're down you're down to a, a pro, you, you would have a sight line problem so if you look if you look into the left you're 539 feet sight line if you look into your right you're 830 feet at 35 miles an hour you only need about 500 feet so without those trees being gone there would be a problem but we've done what we can with the limited you know that's probably more important than the curb cut because those trees would create a really bad sight line problem. Absolutely, Jimmy. That's why I'm asking to have it all called out and specified on this plan very clearly mm -hmm. because Larry Graham's going to need that when he does yeah. the sight line triangles. Is there anything else anybody would like to see on this particular drawing? On that on that page, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. One, C1.1, one one, excuse me. C1.1. Uh, one one. I think I think all my the remain and and then the signs. What kind of that'll know, be proposed? Where are you going to put the signs? That'll be proposed, Tilly. All right. That's a, that's, that's another all page for further this, up. This page. Anyway. Remember, this is existing conditions. This is C one one. This is existing. Comment from the audience? No, just a quick reminder that again, this is just a driveway. We've made some major improvements to it. It is a driveway to a parking lot. And there's going to be, in the initial phase, limited use back there. And we, you know, that driveway has survived many people coming and going. And we feel like we have made and very good improvements to it. And that we feel like the front entryway is satisfactory as we were talking about.
Could you uh, clearly state your name and Elizabeth Wade in and member of Parliament? Okay. And, and um, is it going to be one way or two way then? Uh, it's it's two way traffic and a four foot sidewalk. And it's and it's twenty feet wide. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, That's what I could make out. Am I right? Twenty feet. Yes, wide. it is. Yeah, two ten foot lanes and a four foot wide sidewalk, and we we have roughly thirty feet to work with. If you look at the uh, if you look at the lot line, it's basically up into the tree line. So the only way to get additional width there would be basically to clear the trees right to the edge, and then. Um, our regular subdivision you know, requires 24 feet wide. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess the thing here is, and, and, and this is not if to I, be. If I can interrupt, sure. Maybe what will clarify what we're talking about here. We might want to all look at C 2.1 because that's proposed. We've looked at the existing, and now we'll move to the proposed. And this is where we'll see all the details. The side of the width of that. The width of the right away. Luke can twenty foot. Twenty foot right away. Twenty foot. Twenty feet. Traveling right. corridor. Well, that's the same Two as travel it is. corridors, twenty feet. That's the same as it is on the existing from that, the first one, twenty feet wide. It, it is so limited he's not, there. But he's adding a sidewalk, so you you're going to need fill, I would think. Or you're gonna cut down the side trees and then you're gonna how are you gonna because it drops down. Well, we're actually proposing to cut some of the hill down on the on the drive up to try to soften the slope so that the sidewalks are nothing greater than five percent slope. So as you're driving up the hill, that would be on the right hand side of you. On the driving up the hill, up the hill. There, there would be there would be on the right hand side. There's going to be a retaining wall because we're going to cut into the hill. Right. And we'll be doing that by lowering the grade on the road. Is that below on the grade? The sidewalk is on which side of the hill going up? Going up would be on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. So, you, and how wide is the sidewalk going to be? Four feet. And I'm seeing HP entrances. I'm also seeing signage there, Lou. What is an R11 that's right there? At I think the you'd have to go to the sign summary. My uh, apologies. It's the last page, too. I think it's the very last page is the sign summary. Second to last. They left it. Last oh, yeah, that, blank. Like. that was good. That I wanted to doodle. I doodled. Well, for the details yet to be determined. Yeah, I yeah. saw that. Uh, it'll be a stop sign. Oh, it's a stop sign. Okay, that would okay. be facing inward. Okay. And I don't see any other signage there, but you had mentioned something about signage, Tilly? Yeah. That you wanted to see, and Luz called out a stop sign with his R1R right there at that point. Can you show where that one up R1R is, Lou? Would you just point that out for, for everyone? Okay, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. This, this, this. Okay. It's very. <laughs> yep. It, it's it's very deceptive. It doesn't look like it's there, but when, it's there. When I saw it today, I thought, did you ever think of just flattening that road out instead of going up and down? Just lower that back section by the by the entrance of the church. Um, you would have a. I think an eight foot retaining wall and, and, and you basically have to grade back to the back of the church property. I mean, there just, there's just no way. I mean, it, we have to go on, we have to go on to, we have to go well outside of the lands that the town owns and secure um, a right of entry just to grade this thing back correctly so that we will even able to do this. Now, again, this is all predicated on the idea that a sidewalk is important. Now, Park and Rec believes the sidewalk is important because we're we're promoting activity for people uh, that don't necessarily have cars to get back there, but we're also promoting activities with people that do have cars. So you can't have an entrance and egress to this property without being able to separate pedestrian traffic from vehicular traffic. Yeah, and board. if these kids are coming back with skateboards, I'd hate to think that the last big... Uh, challenge on a skateboard would be to come back down an 8% slope into the state highway. So again, that's part of the reason for, for trying to soften this up. If the board says it's not needed, it's not wanted, it doesn't work, it doesn't fit with whatever the design guidance or requirements are, we would get rid of it. 
and, and, and eliminate a lot of the costs associated with this and we would widen the road. But I think that's short-sighted. That's just me personally How speaking. much did we take off the top? About three feet. So just so you know, we took out three feet off the top to improve the sight line. And, and actually tried and to. And we did borings first to make sure we weren't in ledge. Yeah, we also tried to have and a leveling off area. Looking, so we're taking three feet off of that, off the top. We're trying to make so a leveling off area as well. Off. We also have to. Do you, do you, what are you handing the board there? This is a picture of what the hill that looks like. Okay, it's got to be entered. Okay. Um, so you're taking three feet off the top so we improve the sight line. But we also had to, so we didn't want a car coming down here sliding into cars going by because the, the angle. The slope of cars coming onto the road from the church. You have to mm -hmm. be careful on that slope as well. So you've got to taper that up. We had to cut that back, and we have a agreement with the church. We're going to be on their property to fix their that area of their parking lot. So we had, but we also had ledge up here, which we want to make sure we didn't have any ledge because there was questions of questions about the, the reason the stays high was there was ledge when they got there. But so we, we did we did borings too. We did borings there, and the borings indicated so, that there, there was no ledge. So to we those did everything steps. that was reasonably. Based on the conditions we had, could you, Lou, for for my, I'm, I'm sorry, did did you say something? I just I just felt that you know I compared it to our subdivision requirements for houses. Yeah. And it has to be 24 feet wide now, and then you're going to add a sidewalk, so it's going to, you know, it just seemed to me that that was too small. I I and think. So I'm questioning the sidewalk. I think one thing, <laughs> and I and and again, I'm, this is not to be critical. I, I got involved in this after the land was already secured. There is a reason why you don't work with 30 foot rights of way when you're developing a road. You would go 40 or 50. And I think if you look further back in the parcel, this, this area f furs out to a 50 foot right of way. It may have been better to have secured all 50 feet right to the front. But my understanding is, is when that process was being undertaken, Right. There, there was some assistance from the previous town planner who, who had identified that. Now, whether it was... We couldn't make a non it was an, it was We couldn't make turn the lot into a non-conforming lot. If with reference the, to the... If picture. you, took the, if you right. look at the front... Well, if you that's took wrong. A, I told you that at the, the last meeting. That's right. incorrect. That, well, when my conversation there. with Nick, he was given... He drew the lines. Yeah. And his idea was this, this lot is now non-conforming. It's, it's conforming. I can't turn it into a non-conforming lot. So he took everything that would keep it as a conforming lot. Well, that was Well, incorrect. I mean, like you said, I well, brought You should the have first, given it to us before, and I would have told you. My first contact was the Conservation Commission and the Planning Board, and, and those lines were drawn by Nick. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I mean, if I, if I, you know. This is, this is history. This, and that's right. I, I'd like to look at the present, or I'd like to look at the future. And if, if you could, Lou, I noticed two other designations there. I see an R12 and, if I may, one moment, no. an R12 and what did I see? Another R1R, which is a stop sign. The first stop sign on that plan is where the folks in the church would be coming out. That's another stop sign there. And an R12 that I noticed up and right of that, up and to the right. And, yep. and I believe that R12 <laughs> is a speed limit. 20 mile an hour speed limit, and um, <laughs> the board feel that 20 is the speed limit they want to post? Well, if, if, we may, if I may, Mr. Chairman, who decides the speed limit? I mean, how did we come up with 20 mile an hour? I believe uh, myself and uh, one of my colleagues <laughs> felt as though that, that, was a, that was the appropriate speed limit. Whether or not it's designated this way, uh, as Elizabeth pointed out, this is a driveway. It's not a road. Not a road yet. It may be a road someday, but it's a driveway. And I just think if you're going faster than 20 miles an hour, if my let's, kids let's are over think there about that for a second, and they're going faster than 20 miles an hour, you're doing I'll 20 be miles an hour in my driveway, I'm going to shoot you. Well, okay, so you think it should be less? Fifteen might be okay. better, but it is a hill, so you're going to be. Stepping on the gas. I think I don't care. That's why God put brakes in cars. <laughs> Twenty miles an hour yeah. on a ten and, foot and you're coming on a ten foot travel lane. With by definition, young people running around. Can somebody make a motion to have this fifteen or ten? No. I'm gonna drive Just it. change it to fifteen. Please. <laughs> <laughs> if you look That's at unanimous consent type of thing. And that would be one thing I would ask Larry to what his opinion is about that sidewalk. 
I would like the chief of police's. That's true. That's I'd good. like well, public safety's opinion on the speed limit. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think I don't think that we could be overly cautious by saying 15. I still think 15 is fast. Oh. Uh, I'm very well, serious. We'll You've got an undersized we'll road, over traffic. You're going to have a lot of pedestrian traffic by definition. Mm -hmm. You're going to have people with skateboards. And 15 miles an hour, someone's going to get hurt. Yeah. They really are. What's the speed limit on East Main Street? 35. 40? I believe 35? it's 35. I've never seen 35. Right, <laughs> especially at that corner. 25 downtown. <laughs> Right. American Legion Beach going in there, that's a fairly narrow road, and there's always, there's always, yeah. we're I constantly didn't... screaming at people to slow down, and most people What's are very, most for? people are very reasonable. What's because that posted for, Jim? It's a private way, it's not a town owned way, so I don't, I don't know what the posted speed is, I don't know if it is posted, but, um, but you know, it's, it's a, it's, and we can ask Larry what he would recommend. I mean, we, we no problem. and I'm sure he'll pick up on that. Yeah. yeah. We don't, any speed limit, we're, we're okay with any speed limit that's decided. Give me a heads up to what page you're going to next time. Sure. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 you know, I don't know how what you can control next. it, though. I tell you what, my father I, many a days would run, out, days run down the park because someone was speeding, Just, so, I mean, I grew up yeah. with people. Very, very, very. Well, chasing people down the park. So. Bob, did you have a question yeah, about I wanted to just C2.1? Yeah, um, there's, there really is no separation then between the sidewalk and the and the roadway then, right? There's, you said, I believe, that there's going to be a curb, so it'll be raised a little bit. Yeah, I mean, at, at this point, I want to be as candid as I can be. We're not talking about curbing. We're talking about a raised, cast-in-place sidewalk. Mm hmm it's going to be a, a, a sidewalk with, with a gravel road butt up against it. It's going to look a little... Public reveal? Um, it would, well, we're probably looking at six-inch reveal, which is typical. Um, but we're going to build the road to a, to a depth that if we change this over to pervious pavement or potentially um, impervious pavement, you'd pull out some of that material and, and you know, equivalent to whatever the thickness of the asphalt would be. Yeah. Um, but we're not talking about curbing. If, if this turns into a road, and I, I don't want to, I don't want to get to the, the three million dollar project. But if the town gets serious about this from a bigger perspective, then perhaps that's what it's going to turn into. So you could always set, you know, uh, granite curbing in there. Um, this is going to be built slightly unorthodox, but it's it, the idea is to build what we can afford. And something that makes sense now so that when we continue or if we continue we're not demoing things out to build it the right way we're trying to build the right things the right way got it and I, I appreciate that okay. this is really what Chris was mentioning about I see between here and here Someone walking along there car coming this way car coming that way that's fast that is fast okay. in that section. This, by the way, there's is, no way to this, by the way, is paved. The, uh, the, the, the this point, will be this will be paved from the street to the top of the hill, mm -hmm. the, the transition area that it's like a leveling off area, and then to the bottom of the hill. Once we get back down into basically one percent grades everywhere, or right. plus one to minus one grades. But everywhere, the the sidewalk will be six inches, generally speaking, approximately six inches yes. higher than the road surface. Yes. So you'll have essentially what you normally have in a roadway, which is something similar to a curb. Correct. Right. But it and, won't and be actually, of stone. Correct. And, and actually, the, the, there are many roads where they're getting, where they're not putting in granite curbing. Where th there there are some roadways where the what's cast in place for the sidewalk, they're actually precast units that have a gutter line in them. I mean, there's all kinds of techniques, many of which are much more expensive than the budget that. Park and Rec has to work with. So what, again, what we're trying to do is to build the things that we can. That if this is all we ever build, it makes sense. It may not be perfect, and it may not look like a typical subdivision. But we don't have the budget to build this like a typical subdivision. If we did, you're not we building would. a subdivision, oh, right? And yeah. what, what, what I what I mean is the the same attributes that a subdivision has. The, the concern I have is right in here, where. There's no wiggle room for a car going this way. So, so if they're going to they're going to have to change. 
it this way. Like Car coming sidewalk. this way okay, has got nowhere to go but the sidewalk. I think, t well, there's going to be six inch reveal on the sidewalk, so they're not the going sidewalk. up the sidewalk. They're going to bounce off that. Right. The tire's not going to make it up and, and, I, and I think 10 side. foot, I think 10 if foot this, travel way. Well, let me put it this way people navigate this right. in two way direction and fight right. each other going up and down that hill. I've been standing on the hill when it happens, going faster than 20. And the, and the paved right of way, the paved width right now is something like 18 feet. 18 feet. So. We're gonna we're gonna make it a little wide and probably in some spots it's even narrower that when you consider the fact that some of the trees haven't been manicured up so people are cheating to the middle anyways. Where was that that you were just saying? I'm referring to the existing driveway as it is now. Yeah. In other words, we're we're widening this driveway, so we're making some level of improvements. If if what you're asking to do is to widen it even further. I mean, no. you know, we might be able to take an easement to go up the side to have another two feet or something along those lines, but... I haven't, heard, I haven't heard that. I'm sorry? I haven't heard that from any members. Because no. all I've heard is that they're concerned about the speed. But I understand his point, though. The curbing is, keeps a car from, from going over. It provides a barrier for, for that section. And if there's no separation... I mean, if we can do it in concrete, like I said, if it's a true six or eight... In, uh, yeah, because that is the paved section. I mean, that's in, a, in some ways, in some ways, the narrower road will force people to go slower. You know, you could make this 13 foot wide, and, and what it's going to do is give people the idea that you can Legion, go faster. If we look at American Legion, where, where there is no sidewalk, we feel like this is a definitely yeah. an improvement to this driveway as it's used for people now and will continue to be. And again, we can put our kids on the sidewalk. And American Legion kids walk in the middle of those roads all the time. So we feel like this is a safe approach to to a driveway to a parking lot for activity. Yeah, but American Legion is not going to get the traffic. This is you've got you've got several yeah, entrances. The American, American Legion, Legion gets Legion. massive, probably gets more, more traffic. More than traffic. Yeah. As well. yeah, Okay, it's ten got, minutes to nine. Uh, everybody, right through me. I don't think you can compare. Okay, American Mr. Legion Chairman. To this. Yes, Mr. Rick. For the record, before we lose track of it. Ah, uh, yes. Do you have something you want to do? The picture presented the by Mr. Demento is marked today's date. Park and Rec, 161 East Main Street, Exhibit A, and a national bike. Thank you. Jim, I pulled it out of your package. Just want to get the record. Sure. Right. Um, you want to get that back to me? Or we we have a comment from the audience, Mr. Yeah. Shaw. Up at West Street, mm -hmm. we go through about 300 cars a Saturday. Uh -huh. There's a small entrance for, for, for one car. And when I built that up there, nobody ever said anything about it. Um, and I think... We never have anybody walking to that place, or it's it's basically you're going to have the same type of entrance there as you have on West Street, and West Street has going to have three times as many cars. And if you go up there and stand, the entrance to the park down there is about 500 percent better to the one at West Street. I mean, you Do can go. It, it it really Thanks. is. I, I mean, he's improving that whole way for the church traffic. Mm -hmm and the cars going down there. Right now, you have more cars. You, you aren't going to have any more cars using that, except what we're putting down there is a dog park where you're maybe going to get three to four people a week going down there. And I'd love to see that if we have the time to actually get to that page. Yeah, but, but, I, but, but I'm just saying, it. and plus, the soccer field is being used now. You aren't going to have that many more cars there. Maybe down the road when we get the ball fields in and stuff, you will. But you aren't going to have that many. You're going to have it managed a lot better. And if you, so what are you well, saying? There's going to be 300 cars there well, on a Saturday. Oh, well, off the West Street, you have. I bet you have 150, 200 cars going down in, into West Street when they're used in all the games. And my question was, with this field. Are you telling me that that's 300 cars? Saturday? No, but you're going to have less cars using this field, and West Street works out fine. Hey, but I understand that. Mr. But what's the car count that goes down West Street? Mr. Rich, Mr. Shower, through me, please. The car count down West Street is substantially different than the car count that goes flying by this driveway on a day. To the tune of about probably 6,000 to 1. Duly noted. We're talking about the state highway versus the secondary connector road, West Street. Right. And to be perfectly honest, I appreciate your concern. I'm sure the board appreciates your concern. You draw some distinctions. I would draw a distinction because this has a sidewalk that leads to it. And I think we're talking apples and oranges just a little bit. But thank you for your comments.
Can I make a quick one? Um, we do have to make some long-term, potentially some long-term improvements if we continually develop this area. I've already talked to Wayne about potentially moving the pole. Can't hurt. Moving that back. If Peter does any more. What pole? There's a telephone pole that we've talked about with potentially wanting or needing to move. Is if that, that is what the plan? Yes, it is. Oh. If the planning board decides that, but it's not He's already been moved. notified that that's our intention to work through that issue. I would also suggest if Peter has any road improvements over the next 10 years in the road, he, he, he looks at this area as a potential improvement as well. But in phase one, we don't see much traffic being done in phase one or phase two. I mean, if the, yeah, so I'll leave it at that. Thank you. I'd like to, if everyone's done looking at uh, C2.1, maybe we could look at C2.2 very quickly. The only thing I noticed, and clearly shows the station numbers, shows the radius, shows the uh, sidewalk, the direction arrows. Lou, the only thing I'm looking at is um, it looks to me, and we'll get into this in the next one. The vehicles be coming up. There seems to be, uh, is that an entrance or the exit of the parking lot? I couldn't tell. Uh, that is intended to be the entrance. That is the entrance to the parking lot. Yes. I'm not seeing a crosswalk there, but I'm seeing um, sidewalk handicap separation, ramps. and I'm Perfect. seeing this, the handicap. Ramps. Yep, I'm seeing the handicap ramps. Should there be a, a crosswalk added there? Or am I just not seeing the, the note for it? Well, um, you're talking about at the entrance where the sidewalk crosses the entrance. Where the sidewalk, yes, we, we have to okay. go from one sidewalk off the HP ramp up across the entrance to get to the other sidewalk. I think that's one of those details that I didn't really work out yet. Did you add that? That's what you'd like to say. I would like to okay. see that. Would you, like it, would you like it in concrete? Um, in other words, would you, would you like a, the continuation of it to be concrete? Is there an option for putting it and marking it in some other way? On the ground, on a gravel. I think that'll stay. I, I think the idea here is, <coughs> I, I mean, there, there are some very, very, very expensive ways to do that. Mm -hmm. What's the and, what's the, and in the maintenance, most cost effective way that you can think of? I th think it might just be to to continue the the concrete. Four in place concrete. Yeah, I just I'm not I'm not sure how. What could what could very easily happen there is you you're going to get some erosion. Right there, so we're going to have to do some kind of a transition. Um, it, it would, yeah, it would almost be like a speed bump, um, but but more of a, a speed table, if you will. We could certainly do Add that. What you think is right? Good signage. Oh yes, and could you could you could you just uh, illuminate for us the uh, the the signage there? That is that is an entrance now, is what you're saying. And as originally envisioned, this was gravel. This mm -hmm. whole this, thing. this whole thing is gravel. Um, forgive my ignorance, but why, why would we need a uh, crosswalk there? Uh, because people need to stop. A okay. defined okay. crosswalk. Right. The person standing in it has the absolute right of way. Right. Public safety is the only. The minute concern. you step off the curb into that crosswalk. Traffic, believe it or not, in this state, you're supposed to stop. Some people actually don't. No, they don't. <laughs> well, yeah, no. I'm not sure where you're working these days, but you're probably right. In Boston. In Boston? Boston? No, they will. It just no. means that you've got a moving target. Very tight. <laughs> yeah, right, right. You know and where I'm trying to. Thank you, Will. You asked a question about signage there? Yep. You want to. But could, I, I see that you're referencing our R1 8 and. Let me, uh, my, that's a pedestrian. Yep. yep. It shows a crosswalk, right? Yellow, yep. black, black, right? Yep. Okay. And R1 9 is do not enter. There's the 1 9. I don't even see it. It's from, uh, that's further. Ah, I see up it. Up the drawing, I guess, to the top of the drawing. Would, would, would we want those a little closer to the entrance? The R1 9? Uh, those are to tell people who are in the parking lot not to come out of the parking lot. Ah, I understand. Very good. And their placement may not be optimal either. 
in the current location, so we can, we can evaluate those. Mm -hmm. Take an eyeball on it, see what you think is best. Where is this hydrant located? What hydrant is that, Tilly? I'm sorry. The hydrant is located uh, on the on the That's on another plant? I don't hydrant, know. you said? Yeah. Are there, we were proposing a hydrant for. Um, Can we wait till we get to the plant? For fire protection, but it's, it's I don't for think a few it's sheets. On a plan. Is it on a plan? There's a Did you identify where you're going to put it? Yes, there, there, there's a spot shown in the proposed I conditions. Okay. I more up. And there's also a detail for it, which I think the fire department I has some. I saw the picture of it that you drew, yep. but I didn't know where you put it. Are we looking for the next sheet? Um, I'm just wondering if anybody else has any more questions about C2.2. I'm trying to think of a... I think the most inexpensive way to delineate a crosswalk that I can think of that's legal is the signage, and only the signage can delineate a crosswalk. Well, I think I think you're looking to make some kind of distinction <clears throat> here. Like, for instance, um, the issue you're going to have, if I can interrupt you for a second, sure. is maintaining your ADA accessibility. Over that gravel well, that's, road. that's where I was going with this. Is uh, um, I was involved with a project um, just a few months ago, where one of the crosswalks was cobblestones. Um, yeah, it doesn't fly. Yeah, and it did, right. It's exactly so. And, and and in a and in the gravel road world, cobblestones would clearly be a way to delineate the difference between a travel way and a crosswalk. But again, there's a problem with the ADA. I, I have no problem with the way we talked about it. Interestingly enough. Uh, the concrete slab in between the two ramps yeah. will eliminate any and all. Yeah, I'm just saying. I, I'm just trying to think if there was a more inexpensive way. There, there, is. You, you, inexpensive there is. Way, you, there is. They have systems where you can install like a, well, like a like plastic sheeting. It's like a heavy plastic. It's almost like a geo grid. It's 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 heavier duty than that. But for the purposes of maintaining this, it'd be a nightmare. And I, again, it's. That would be part of a massive, you know, uh, environmentally friendly stormwater management plan if we were proposing to pave the whole thing and you were looking for some credits or relief in terms of uh, or, or adding uh, some permeability to the area. But in a case where we're doing all gravel, I think adding a, another half a square yard of it's concrete keep the, is probably... Kind of keep the concrete truck moving, that's all. Yeah. Three, uh, two One dot three. Is everybody all set with... Um, 2.2 anymore? 2.3, Lou? Can we take a peek at that? And we're seeing the layout of the parking lot and the... Is, is that the skate park? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, and um, the island that I'm seeing there. I'm presuming that that's the exit where the island is. Could you just sort of point that out for me? Yeah. Right. That's the exit, and Correct. you have... Where's your signage there that, that prevents people from coming in? Is that, is that on the island? Or no? Uh, what is that, a no left turn or something like that? I'm, our our, our 1-3... How do you get out? Right. Mm -hmm. Counterclockwise. So essentially, if I'm seeing this right, Lou, yep. a car drives up the driveway and uh, they come up and wh where is it that they take this left hand turn into the driveway? Into the, uh, excuse me, into the parking lot. Uh, it's near station. That's the exit, right? It's near station eight plus thirty. And I'm not seeing that. I'm sorry, Lou. I'm not seeing that. Yep, but that's because the stationing didn't get turned on in the layer. Okay. On sheet. What what? C two dash three. What I'm what I'm what I'm looking at here is 2 .4. It, it looks like the the teardrop of of that island. Is that when I first looked at this loop, 
if you if you ask me to look very very quickly at this, and you said, Harry, where do the cards go in? Where do the cards go out? I had it reversed in my mind from the way you have it, because it looked like that was the exit where the teardrop is, but that's actually the entrance. Yes. And I'm not seeing how the cars go from the right hand lane. Yep. And then I'm not seeing where they make that corner to get in. Do you see what I'm saying there? Uh, yeah. It looks sweet, but it is the intention that you that they drive all the way to the cul-de-sac and then come back. We could go with. A, is that could, the traffic flow? We could go with a stop sign and something that says, you know, uh, left turn entrance, some something along those lines. But the idea here is this: the idea was to turn left into the parking lot, navigate the parking lot, and then when you're leaving, come back out. So um, that the idea was to turn out of the parking lot, turn uh, hard to the right, and make your way back out. The way this is configured now is if somebody went down and said, hey, I'm going to try to get one of those spots down the end, or I'm going to drop off my equipment for the game and mm -hmm. come back, mm -hmm. they make the turnaround, and on the way back, they come back in. Um, and they could enter this way. Um, <clears throat> What's to stop them from going up there and just saying, well, I'm going to get by this crowd and go up there and turn left in? That's got to be widened there because it doesn't facilitate two-way. Do we want two-way? Well, I, I, you know, get a big black marker for me because I'm an idiot. And wh where do they go in? Where are, we, where are the cars driving? Please show me. I already forgot. Okay, so cars are coming down this way and then turning in. Uh huh, that's the entrance. Okay, great. So the traffic pattern goes in there, yeah. and the other one would be exit only or two way? Well, it wasn't. And I'm not criticizing your plan, I'm yeah. not questioning, I'm, I'm just asking. No, what, questioning. what you're doing is pointing out something that I missed, okay. which is important. Because the idea is you can, you can head out this way, mm -hmm. but if you were to come down here and turn around, mm -hmm. the idea is to come back, was to be able to come in this way, which means... But that was when the entrance was a lot wider and you had two way in? So I'm honestly, I do remember this being a little bit wider, but I think in the process of reconfiguring some of the handicap parking, I think we clipped something that we weren't supposed to. Mm -hmm. That needs to be a two-way there. Yeah. It Does it need to be a two-way? Someone or drops for safety, off the. Okay. Do we want a one in, one out? Okay. Here's the devil's advocate. He drops his kid off at the skateboard park, and then she wants to go to the dog park. You know, that would allow him to go out. He goes in the front. Drops the kid off the skateboard. Comes all the way around. Drops at the park. Goes out and goes down to the dog park. Right. So that that one the in, section, one out. This section here would have to be a two-way. <laughs> Yeah. No, what you can do no. here is what, what you say here is there's no left turn. Yeah, that's it. And then, that's essentially it. Right. Yeah. And you have it going directly to the dog park. Is that why that is continued the road? Um, or is it continued for the coaches? It it, car it turns around at the dog park, and there's also an entrance for some parking areas here. Oh. But it, it wasn't specifically for that. It was more or less to allow for people to get in and out without having to get into the parking lot. Just for clarification, Lou, just so the whole board is on board for this. It may sound redundant. Does the board want to see two-way traffic at that point or one-way traffic at that point where cars come up the road, take a left, enter the parking lot, and then when they go to exit the parking lot, they exit along well, would you show them? What, what you're going to do is be, you're going to be you're going to be creating a scenario whereby people come back all the way out to East Main Street and then find the first driveway they can make a three point turn on a state highway to come back in because they couldn't get back in the parking lot. I think you need to have two way traffic here, otherwise you you you're creating somebody who's aggravated because they didn't get a space down here, double aggravated because they got to go all the way back out. Triple but aggravated they, because they're they making not, a three-point turn. Can they come not back turn in. there when they're on the road heading this way? Can they not turn into the parking lot? 
Is there a no right turn? You'd have to make it. Um, I think what you probably need to do is to, we, we probably need to have to change the, the radius here a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think we, we, we need to pull into the church clock and turn around. Yeah, they're yeah. probably going to pull into the I church clock. I think it's better to go around. in one and out the other, but where the out is, you've got a good, what's that little, uh, 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 a little common there or something? A little square there? This right here? No, no, over, over right here. Yeah, with the the yeah. The island yeah, it was just so that could kind be, of a separation. Can't that be a turnaround? You know, if anybody got caught in uh, going the wrong way? Actually, it'd be good rotary there. I yeah, think. something in that uh, regard. Oh, yeah, that's all we need. <laughs> I think that might be a little tight of an area there. <coughs> or, uh, yeah, I think, you, I think you're trying to, I think you're trying to encourage people to slow down in that spot. And if they're trying to enter the parking lot, I think that's what they're going to be doing. Well, I don't. Well, personally, I don't think you need such a wide road or driveway, as you're calling it, to get to the to the dog park. That could be just just an easy, you know, dr a small dr narrow driveway. You don't need so much just to go to a dog park. But they're thinking so down the road. You're going to put the ball park ball field. It's also, yeah, that's ball also ball emergency ball vehicles. Ball. Emergency vehicles can get the kids. And there's also handicapped yeah. parking up there. We don't want to, we don't want to narrow the road if that's what you're saying. It has to be two way. Yeah. The, the, the other question that I had was, um, why, what was your thing about having? It's actually the back of the fields too. Okay. One conversation at a time. Who wants to talk? Well, I, I just. Oh, Bob, I you just, want to talk? I wanted to ask you just a question of, what was the thinking about having the entrance on the left where you have to cross the the lane? I know it's I know it's a small road. It's not going to get well. I it. think the idea here is is the, the reason why the great I, the great many number of people will be coming down here to come into the parking lot. I don't expect there to be a whole lot of number of cars coming this way leaving. The the, re, the reason why I ask is that this is the business end down here. This is where they're going to be dropping kids off. And they probably or perhaps will be dropping them off and then parking yep. rather than coming down this way and then going to park. I'm just I'm just thinking that the folks are probably gonna to wanna to get their, their kids to where the activity is. But the park the ballpark is also where they're gonna Well that's there. yeah, but that's that's down here. They're gonna right? park there though. I, my, my my suspicion right. is is that a great number of people that are coming to this area I'm not necessarily coming for the skateboard part of it. Uh -huh. I think that's where the skateboard part fits. Right. Okay. But I think it'd probably be, you know, when you've got back-to-back -back baseball games, I would I would guess that uh, the greatest number of cars that's going to be in this area is going to be for the ball field. True, but to the same point, people are going to be dropping their kids off. So they're going to be dropping their kids off probably down here and then going to park. Is that, I mean, that's what I always did. Yeah, we... Um, Take your oranges, get the, get going. We, <laughs> yeah, I don't think we've... I don't think... We don't have a tremendous amount of workable area through here. Mm -hmm. So the idea of having a drop-off area, you know, I'm thinking like Pearly, uh, how they do that. Mm -hmm. They kind of circle the way in, circle the way out, and they're skirting around the entire parking lot. Now, that thing's kind of a nightmare. Um, I'm thinking more that at least from the teams that I've coached, most of the parents aren't just dropping the kids off. They're coming there, parking the car, and they're walking over with their kids because they're gonna watch the game. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that it won't happen the other way, but my suspicion is is that it'll there'll be more of that. Um, I think you I think you want to plan a drop off area because okay. four kids the, you know, you're you're cutting it tight, you're you got after school games You've got parents running and... You know what we don't have? But we don't have the money to build a park yet. Yeah. And, and, and that's the frustrating part so of all this. So you're not going to do the park now? Well, we'll no, we're, 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 we'd like to submit a request for some additional funding through CBC <laughs> to get the money to build a park. All right, so but you we need have to get X this amount of dollars just first. to do the what parking lot on the road. Uh, so the parking lot, the skate park, and the driveway. Can we stay focused on this plan before us? And the special permits, love it. Sure. And I, I'd just like to, I'd just like to know, and I lost it somewhere. Can a car come up the road, take a left into the parking lot, and then go around, come out near, dropping off, or 
driving along the, the skate park. Drive down, follow down along the road, go to the dog park, drop off Fido and, and one of the kids, right. and then turn around and come back and pull in, taking a right, not there, but in the entrance, which... Okay, right. so... And they do that. Any Anything is possible because we're still... And it's just a bunch of lines on a paper. Right, we're still making some changes. Does that make sense? One, one thing, one thing in terms of the drop off, what you could do, is if you're going to eliminate your ability to come in through here, mm -hmm. you could make this the drop off area, That's because true. there's a sidewalk right there. Oh, it's not right. big enough though. It's not going to have any storage for cars. No, no, no. It's, it's going to be. No, it, it's going to be. Open you, door, you get slide, no, no. You, you're going to slide your car over mm -hmm. into that thing. And come off now. It's not going to be a. Uh, it's not going to be a parade through there. It's going to be the ability for one or two cars to be able to do it, and that's it. Mm -hmm. But Lou, isn't there drop, drop off? They can just drive up to where the dog park is and loop right back, drop their child off there. There is, the and, and, and for that, and, they just and come right on back out. And for that matter, they could do the same thing anywhere in the parking lot. And mm -hmm. then take a right into the parking lot area, as you but said. But can they, they take a right out? into the parking that's lot the at the one entrance? Kids yeah. now they get dropped off like six right. inches away from what they're doing. But I think Harry's idea is a good one to allow right hand turn no, back into the parking lot front door. as you're heading out. My concern is at the radius. A half a mile. So he's saying the entrance should be wider to allow two way. Well, right. it, it, no. Take well, no, not two way. Just, no. just coming back. No, no, no. Two, two way in. No. no. One way and out the other. No. Right. Mr. Chin. Yes. If I may. It wouldn't be wide. The radius would be opened the up. The radius, so. exactly. I'm going to ask a couple of blatantly obvious questions. Would it be fair to state that every car that's in that parking lot, when it comes out, has to go right? Correct. So why are we creating a traffic jam by entering at the bottom of the parking lot and not at the top? Every car that goes in the bottom is going to come out the top, which is then going to conflict with people trying to get in. So you're saying to reverse the two? If everyone that goes in at the top and comes out at the bottom, they can only... 90% or 99% of them are going to be turning right. I agree. Okay. Counterclockwise <laughs> instead of clockwise. I agree. Well, I have a digital watch. In so <laughs> So Lou, if you, if you, you know, do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, Just reverse saying the direction. Yes. Yeah, you come out there, go in the top, turn left, turn left to go in. So that teardrop changes slightly. The yeah. configuration well, you, you just can, changes. You can configure However, you configure it and create your drop off area in here. And make a right turn to get down to the dog park. Yeah. Well, you'd want you to drop off a little further in so that you wouldn't uh, People would line up lock that, your that lane, whole right? lane. We, 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 yeah, we, can, we can extend it this way. Yep. So you're one way in. You have to come out the bottom. And then if someone wants to go back up to the dog park, they can turn right or left in the bottom. Yeah. And, and on Everybody the way back There's out? only a left turn on in. On the way back out, they're going to be able to do this too. And then just left or right coming back out. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. I'm happy because it's one way in, one way out, and that's all I care about. That's safe. And so then, you know, left turn is right here. Amend as needed. Right? So, so Can, if you really have the, the road, the driveway, I'm out of college. <laughs> the, uh, well, the parking lot, and, and what else? Can you do? Huh? Skateboard. <laughs> Skateboard. That's all you got plans to do right now. That should be phase one. That, that, is. Is phase one. that is phase one. That's all we have funding to do now, but we're seeking the special permit for phase one and two. We, we have, so why are you doing two when you don't have the money? We, have, we, some we have some money to spill can, can into I the next. Can for one minute? Why is if that? If this was a developer coming before us proposing to build 25 houses, would we care if they had enough money to build 25 houses? No, but we wouldn't be designing So that is not either. germane. <laughs> no, but we would be correcting it if we saw things that we didn't like about no, it. No, this is automatic. I've never known this board to be quiet. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Chairman, automatically, if it, this was a development mm -hmm. with, a, with, a, with a contractor and engineers, 
get a traffic plan. It would have already gone to Larry already. Grant. We wouldn't even be dealing with it. No, we'd, we'd require a traffic survey and analysis, and they would uh, they would do the design. I have to tell you, Kelly, Mr. Chairman, if I may. <laughs> That's how my opinion. That if we were not, <laughs> if this were the developer's money, mm -hmm. I'd have sent it to Larry Graham a long time ago. Right. And so I would I. not be sitting here Absolutely at 9.20 not. at night when my day begins at 4.30 tomorrow morning. Absolutely not. I, 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 I can picture this going to Larry, to Larry and, then where it's, and Larry sending it back. Where because it's our it's money and our kids <laughs> are going to get my time and my attention. Yeah. He may not have the time um, to do all Mr. this. Mr. Chairman, if I may. Would like to put it off until... No, I, I have a question that I, I want. Well, you mentioned that it's the equivalent of four house lots. Is that eight acres you're talking about? Four house lots worth of impervious area added to the project. No. Four house lots worth, which is... Tell me what you mean by four house lots. The, the, impervious, the impervious area associated with developing four house lots. Is how much? I think it's about 12,000 square feet of impervious area if you do the... It's under half an acre. The footprint, You're talking about the driveway. Feet, 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 so the skate park is under half an acre. Pardon? The concrete is the concrete is the impervious under area. Under half an acre is, is yeah. below the threshold. No, concrete isn't. I'm sorry, we have too many concrete conversations going on here. What do we what do we can we go with one at a time, please? What's what was the, the question? What was the question? I'm sorry? Did someone have a question? My question was I was trying to figure out what what he meant by the equivalent of four house lots. And I, I didn't know if he was saying that the area that you're developing is eight acres or what you, you It's you not said. a fit, it's four single family house lots is, is not, I mean, they, they could be McMansions, if, if you will. The res, res, regulations don't designate how much square footage of impervious area that represents. I look at you know, four houses that, you know, if you, Chaplain Hill Estates or, or, or some of the larger two-acre zoning where, where there's been some larger houses, but if you look at the impervious area associated with four of those lots and the road that goes into them. Not the road. Well. Not the road, just the lot. It's a, the, I think the regulation says four lot subdivision. But not the roadway. You can't have four house lots off of another road without... Unless you have a shared driveway with four houses, I think we disagree then. Okay, but we'll at, at any rate, we'll we'll, we'll I waive. We've taking into account the, the we'll waive the road, the road portion of it. It's not it's not codified with an actual number. It's it's generically talking about four lots. And again, we're not talking about not doing any stormwater management. I'm trying to offer some perspective here. We're paving mostly what's already paved, adding a little bit more. Again, not a whole lot, and a skateboard park. Which which has a how many square feet? A, 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 a range, about eleven thousand square feet, and we're actually talking about making the skateboard park a little bit smaller. If we can, right now, what the skateboard park is is a slab of concrete. Um, we have some ramps that I think Park and Rec again trying to be as frugal as possible is looking to use. They're not in great shape, and I'm not entirely sure that that's going to be the final product. There may be a skateboard park inside that footprint that's even smaller than that footprint where we may um, have some ramps cast in place and the ramps would be basically made out of grading the ground. For all intents and purposes, it's, a, it's another impervious area that fits within that footprint which will, will likely be even smaller. So for the purposes of a special permit, I mean whether it's, I'm not sure it really matters what's inside here. What, what matters is, is what this footprint is and the fact that it is impervious. You, you, pre, you presume that entire bit in your calculations as right, an exactly, impervious exactly. area. We may wind up building something that's smaller with some kind of scoops in it and maybe something that's a little so bit more. So the impervious area may be less. Right, but and we may have more. some rain gardens in the middle, but for the purposes of this special permit, what we're saying is, is that's the max. We, this, we won't do anything bigger than this and we'll have at least as much of this for, for stormwater management. Are there any more questions about C.2.3? Question I have about sure. the, uh, the surface in the parking lot, the gravel. Correct. And how you demark uh, the parking spots? 
uh, we're going to purchase um, precast bumpers and we're going to uh, stake them in with um, they're like iron stakes. Who would would a less expensive option possibly be the uh, guardrail? Um, guardrail? You, you know, I think we can do that. One thing here is, um, you, you, th there you is your options open on that. Well, if the project were to expand in further, and I know that's a long way down the road, that we may wind up taking some of this area and turning it into a field. Mm -hmm. And moving some of the parking further in, or, or swapping some things around. So again, we're trying to permit this as if we'd never get another penny to do this. Mm -hmm. And the way things are looking right now, maybe that that is the case, or enough to build a ball field and that's it. However, again, I'm not. I'm in the business of planning big things, designing smaller things and components, and then working with the client to be able to finance those things so that they can own a little piece now. And, and, and kind of let, it grow. Let, let the thing grow if they want to. If they don't, th then that's that. But unfortunately, I'm, I can't paint myself into the corner of the room and then wait for the rest of the house to get built or have a doorway blown in the side. Does that answer your question, Bob? Yeah, the point of my question really is that if they're not demarked, the creative citizens of Georgetown will figure out a way to park that's not going to look like that. <laughs> Right, and, and I, I think that's kind of what our intention is. We probably can do something with signs. We might be able to do something with guardrails. What I'm looking to do is something like that's movable if necessary. Mm -hmm. The idea, by the way, is not to plow this area. I don't think this area is really going to be open in the winter, or if it is, we're going to do something in a limited basis. So maybe maybe you need to be able to take some of those uh, those, those uh, the bumpers out and have a smaller area Park or whatever. Park would like the option of, option of railings or precast concrete. American Legion Park, in the winter, they take the truck goes through twice. People can use that area for skating. So the good thing about having the standard rails is the plow truck knows where they are. You just put concrete down. You might have to, right, they'll hit them or... Uh, find them the hard way. Find them the hard way. So we just like to have the option. We'll, and we'd like to also... So you can um, make a note of that on the plan. That the, the like bumper that is my, of, uh, but my option. The <laughs> option is we're going to ask Peter what he likes, and we'll probably do it that way. Those blades cost money. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of hurts and the I'm first time it happens space, to I'm you. No, can you go back to this page? Can we go back to your page? So the backside, the entire perimeter of the skate park, the front of it is easy access. What is the terrain? Which sheet are we on? I'm sorry. The, the, the one you're on. Go to 2.3. 2. That's the one you have out there? Yep. Yeah. That one. Okay, if you go to the outside perimeter of the skate park. Yeah. Yeah. What's that back? What is that? This area in here? Piece note? No, no, no. Just no. Oh, the hatch pattern. The hatch pattern. Is the hatch that pattern. Uh, the hatch pattern is the rain, rain garden. garden. Rain garden. Uh, rain. Crushed stone, and then it transitions to the rain garden. Crushed stone and the rain garden. Okay. The idea here is, um, you know, instead of putting in um, uh, sunken gutters. By, by the way, just because I because I bought them on several projects, the gutter system that goes around some of these cast in place concrete items can be a hundred dollars a foot. It, it, it's some of the most expensive things on any construction project, you know, for, for site development. Um, what we're looking at is basically trying to shed the water, perk it vertically. Anything that doesn't perk vertically is gonna sheet laterally by grade, make its way into a grass area that's gonna collect and come into a rain garden. We have detail for this as well. so. Kind of, th this is really just designed to show a specific purpose for my question. How far, what's the depth from the parking lot to the furthest point in the from the parking lot here to the furthest point in the back of the skateboard? Park? So, the from the from, from here? where the skateboard park meets the parking lot, yeah, to where the skateboard park meets the Crushed stone, so all the way to the back. The width of the skateboard. Yes. 
I believe it's 100 feet. Oh, Inch and 20. 100 feet. 100 feet. 100 feet. Okay, that's not that bad. I'm thinking what my question was going to be is if you need to get an emergency vehicle around to the rear of that park. There's not going to be any fencing in here. If you need to get an emergency vehicle, you drive right in. You drive right over it. You drive from here, you drive up over the sidewalk, and you're on the slab. Now, again, th that may change here because we're talking about potentially doing something that's a little bit more... And some of the skateboard parks that I've been in, contoured. you're lucky if you can drive into them with a motorcycle. Well, here, here's the thing. Oh, the Park and Rec's there. budget is such that we would normally have started with a slab of concrete. They take ramps that were donated from another community and place them on here, which means now you have to have a slab of concrete that can take the load of not only the object, but the vehicle picking that object up and moving it around. For the amount of concrete that you would use in here, which is a rather expensive material, you could make the park a little smaller and make it contoured the way you see some skateboard parks. And then you build the hits in it. With, and you the, have with, to, with gravel. You have to be, yeah, but what are you gonna put up? You're gonna, no, no. We, 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 you, you build the ramps out of gravel. In other words, you, you grade and contour the land and then you, you apply this more like shotcrete, like if you're doing a, a, a funky custom a swimming pool. Swimming pool. Yeah. yeah, like kind of. Yeah, exa exactly. A again, for the purposes of what this is. You still have to navigate around it is what I'm. Well, here's I the thing. The footprint of, to, to do a park like that, which by the way is, and I'm not a skateboard park designer, but I've done my homework now, so I understand a lot more about what it is in terms of the functionality and the desirability of the park. The, sla the, the, the concrete ramps that we have now, while it's a great idea, and again, I, you know, Park and Rec is trying to be as frugal with the town's money as possible, it's not something that skateboarders want to use. So there's really, we're charged with designing and building something that's cost effective, but it's not gonna be cost effective if nobody wants to use it. So we may be able to build something that's a little bit smaller, a lot more desirable to use, and that might give you access to the outside here. Th this is still kind of unanswered for the purposes of a special permit because I can lower a design of any park I want right in here in 20 minutes. The 100 feet width makes it a non-issue. Okay. If it was more than 100 feet, you can walk a backboard in yeah, without trouble. Yeah. 100 feet, walk a backboard out 100 feet. No problem. So, it's it's like you have to get the vehicle just right in there. I just want to ask the question. Sure. Mr. Chairman, can we continue this some other time? We've got we spent all this mm -hmm. an hour already. Absolutely. Everybody's <laughs> tired. I was hoping to get Lou uh, as many comments as possible. Could I bring one more thing up, Lou? If Mr. I may. You're the if I may tell And that would be on yeah. the next sheet. And I Italian. will be brief. <laughs> I don't even want to just really discuss it. Said you're gonna be what? I will be brief. I noticed that on the next sheet, you begin a sidewalk on the right-hand side of the roadway if you were driving towards the, uh, towards the turnaround loop. Yep. And uh, I would question why it's on the right-hand side as opposed to the left. It, it requires that people have to cross over from what will be the drop-off area or the parking lot. They have to cross the street once, and then they have to come down, and then they either have to cross over again, or they have to walk across the turnaround. And I would wonder how difficult would it be to put that crosswalk and make that just a continuation of the crosswalk on the left-hand side of the road. So basically from station, say, 11 plus 50, just continue the sidewalk on the other side of the road. On the opposite side of the road and just shift that road down. Yeah. As opposed to having people potentially cross the road, stay over here on this side, they hear the crack of the bat, they run across the street, or they try to get here and they still have to cross once again. Yeah, it looks better. It looks They're better crossing better. twice yeah. to get to a destination. Whereas by just continuing that sidewalk, it, there's no additional cost. and it, People can hang out by the fence watching the game. Yeah, I think it's a lot safer. Look, I just think it's a lot safer. Is that Ripper? This is P-Stone. That's P-Stone? This is P-Stone, right, Look, surrounding this? The back of the field? Uh, this is <laughs> the proposed field. Rip-rap. Crushed, crushed stone. stone. Yeah, it's crushed, crushed stone. stone. 
Yeah, it's just basically a, just a structural material, just to transition between the grass area and the road. So what you're saying is, is you'd like to see the sidewalk on the other side? If yeah. if there's no objection from the board, if the board, well, no, there is a great, great change, right? It's not that that gravel's there because the pitch between the field and the road is so great, you need to stabilize it. I right? think the idea here is is because we haven't cleared anything out there, there is still a question of what that final grade would be. I mean, we, we have grades proposed. Um, let's put it this way. I think we can still, I think we can accomplish both. I think we can accomplish both. I think, I think we can shift that over and, and bring the sidewalk to the other side. And if we still need to have a fudge area that, that, for the grade. Yeah, that buffer area that we could do that. Did you guys meet with the neighbors that came last meeting? Yes. Good. Great. In light of what Tilly said, we had. Um, the, we're gonna, it sounds to me like she wants to continue with this. Was there something you wanted to say? Yeah, the Here's only it. comment we had, all neighbors were fine. One neighbor, Seaberg, requested that on the, on, the, on the parking lot side, looking at her house, that we could put some green giants, small green giants, that could eventually provide a. A, a noise buffer. I guess the United Farm here over the years have killed all the trees between, and she's hearing more noise from the United Farm in that area in general. So, I mean, go down that, if you're looking at the parking lot, the skateboard box, look, you're looking at the skateboard box to the left, just yeah. green giants aren't a big deal. So, yeah. Just put, put them on the plan. Bill's <coughs> soccer field, you must be an expert on I want to put them in right away. I'm not going to wait 10 years. Just, okay. just don't put in a fence. <laughs> um, we have a site walk for the 24th, Sunday, 7.30. Uh, I'll yes. send us a quick reminder of that. Yep. And Tilly, um, I, I know you're tired. Everybody's tired. We'll, uh, we'll continue this. Do we have a date for the continuance? Uh, what is our next meeting? I'm sorry. 28th. If I may, before we uh, get to the continuous date, Lou, on the site walk date, can you have um, medium regulars? Some of these plans <laughs> on 8 and a half by 11 or 11 by 17. Um, I have copies of those in the office. Yeah. Yeah, I know you have. I know they're there, but I just, just bring some with you in case some people want to see it. See what the print, compare the print to what they actually are standing on. Okay. Uh, not with any of these changes made yet, what, what we've started with. No, just the okay. Do we have extra sets? Yeah. Okay. No, don't create anything. Well, I mean, we, I, ma I made a fair number of them, and we'll be happy to make more if, if they're needed, but if they have extra ones, we we'll Yeah, we got that. the printing bill. And do we need... Um, so how many sets do we need? Because here. he has some extra sets. Uh, I've got, got plenty. Mr. CPC here, and... Um, that's a park and rec bill. I just happened to notice it. Okay. I'll say no more. That's why we're trying to squeeze the buffalo. I will so. take a motion. Tilly, did you want to make, make a motion? Make a motion to continue the, the special okay. permit hearing and at our next uh, And we are looking which at... Which is November 28th, is it? Yeah. I don't know. I'm looking at the yes. agenda now. November 28th. Correct. November 28th. Which takes you? 22nd. Yeah, plenty of time to recover. 28th. November 28th. Is there a way to know? Is there a second to the continuation? Who did? I did. You did? Chris seconds that? Getting tired. All in favor? Aye. 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 Is that unanimous, Mr. Watts? Oh, yeah, yeah. Motion carries unanimously. Pardon me? I'm sorry, Tim? The, the schedule, the time, do we still have the time? We have 60 days after they file to have our first public hearing. We have 90 days after our first public hearing to reach a decision. So last, so when is that up, the 90 days? February. If we, if we ask really? for continuance, if we ask for extensions of time on a quarterly basis, we can never go wrong. No, you have to. We can never go wrong if we ask for them on a quarterly basis. You're October. going to the class, aren't you, for the special permit over at Merrimack Valley? I teach is, that is there a way to know? Is there a way to know <laughs> roughly tonight? where in the schedule, yeah, we, uh, where in the agenda we might be? I mean, are we on the. You'll be on the 28th. Okay, you don't know where in the. T 
I mean, public when, hearings when you, go when you right can, after correspondence, so I'd say about seven thirty. Okay, so I mean, when you continue these things, if you continue them, you you By fill right, you know the special permit fill up from the front to the back what or back to the front. What we should be doing is continuing to a date time certain. Okay, so the right motion should have been to continue to the twenty eighth at seven p.m. We don't do that. We, uh, it's just but 7 p.m. The means never did, show up and, and, and wait your turn in, in the order. But in other words, do you, you, you know roughly where that is? You're you're about 7.30. Mm -hmm. You 7. can't okay. go before it. You can go after it. Yeah. Yeah. So all, all continuances are at 7 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very busy here at 7. Thank you. Did you, did you give us you the yellow cards for the abutters list? Did you get, did we get that? Did we get the, we, we, got we sent, oh, good. we sent it in. We sent it okay. okay. Thank you very much, Thank Lou. You. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yes, Mr. Rich. I believe there's one more uh, surprise thing that was put on the agenda. It's new business, Bailey Lane, informal discussion was added to the agenda. And uh, uh, that's been on the agenda for in the notice. It's an informal discussion. There's no notice necessary. We're, this is not a hearing. No, this is part of our meeting. Oh, I'll break there. Oh, I didn't notice it myself. Hi guys. Hi guys. Could you state your name for the record, please, for our informal discussion? Bill Bartlett, Tom Manetta. Is it paperwork in here? Evidently. This is all that we've received. Oh, okay. Bill the, Bartlett the, and Tom Minetta. Tom and Minetta. The two persons uh, request an informal meeting with the planning board just to briefly discuss and to come to a Great. common understanding. Yeah, of nine minutes. Nine happen. minutes. Okay. Um, we're here probably a <coughs> year and a half or so ago, maybe two years ago. Um, and we. What's that? It was less than that. Well, all right. At some point, let's say over a year ago. Um, or And. Uh, that was when Nick, new member, Nick was the, mm -hmm. um, town planner, the planner. town planner, and we sat down with him. Originally, we submitted a Form A plan. Um, Nick said, "No, Form A plan is not going to work." We talked about the, the, you know, the ownership of Bailey Lane, um, and then we came back with uh, basically this was Nick's sketch that I put on, you know, tweaked a little bit, and um, and this is what we came up with. Which was three, three, um, three form A lots, uh, and then two lots off a of common drive, uh, which you, know, you can see that proposed cul-de-sac. It's called lot B, um, and then lot A would be would be deeded to the town, and as well as lot C, which is the open space. So we're we're looking essentially at this lot A, lot A, and then this lot is C. C. all that right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Um, and this would be an OSRD plan, I believe. This would be an OSRD because plan. Because it's looking right. to me like you don't have the appropriate frontage there for those. We have reduced and frontage high. and lot size, correct. Which could only be granted by the board under an OSRD process. OSRD, right. Um, and why we're here today is, it, it's tough to see on the sketch, but we sketched out a roadway, a pavement width of 18 feet, um, which might, might show up a little bit better here. Uh, it's the same plan you're looking at. Uh, I just highlighted it. Um, the, the yellow, this yellow edge and this orange edge are the existing width of the roadway out there, which runs between 9 and 15 feet wide from, from Taylor, uh, just past Mohawk, to the last house, which is right here. And this um, is a private way shown this is, this on is the official town map. Correct. Right? It's now on the <laughs> official town map. Um, so back, you know, working with Nick, we said, okay, why don't we... Um, and we had a site walk out there as well. Um, my, a lot of the board members were there. And we walked through this, and we were concerned with the stone walls out there, the trees, the, the existing uh, curb cuts. So what, basically what we had to show you today is we came up with um, the orange, which is an 18-foot wide pavement width, to upgrade the road to 18 feet wide. Um, and we've been a lot, and you can see these little clouded areas of trees uh, that would, would be right at the edge. So would probably there's three trees that would probably have to be cut down to, to establish this 18 foot width and we just kind of meander it um, through this existing right of way 
uh, you know, utilizing the existing curb cuts and not touching those for the for the existing houses out there. Um, Unless you wanted to save in this. There was yeah, a, and we can. People wanted to save trees, and you could make it a little narrower, and that just that one area or two areas. Are you going to improve the road I, at all? Can I? Can I before we go there? What? Um, the origins of this, and it seems to me like. Well, you have a, a relatively good sized lot here, a 12 acre lot. And uh, it seems like you have legal development potential here, every right to develop it. Um, the only thing I'm seeing here right now is a big question in my mind. Um, if you were to come before the board uh, with a, um, a definitive subdivision or a preliminary subdivision plan, because it's over 10 acres. Uh, you'd be required to file an OSRD plan anyway <laughs> um, as part of the regulations. Definitive, over 10 acres, calls for an OSRD, board gets to choose. I presume you're here, and I'm not trying to hurry you. If I'm anywhere off, stop me, please. But I presume that why, why you're here is you want the board to look at this and see if this is a good OSRD plan. Well... To back up a little bit, okay. um, we were already here for that, <laughs> and it seemed to be in good old OSRD plan, but the question was the width of pavement out on Bailey Lane. Mm -hmm. um, we can backtrack, which is fine, and that's kind of why we're here to say this is what we want to propose. We do want to propose 18 feet wide uh, width of pavement out there. Prior, we hadn't had an existing conditions of that roadway. That's what's added to this plan from probably some of the, the old plans in the file. So we sent the crew out there and we located all the trees, all the telephone poles, uh, you know, did the topography, you know, whatever was out there for drainage structures and curb cuts and things like that. Um, so to answer your question, yes, we'd like to get, uh, you know, some feedback from the board is, does this look like a viable OSRD plan? And can we, you know, we want to proceed with an 18 foot wide pavement with, as you can see, that there's not much else we can do as far as pavement with without basically going down that right away and taking out all the trees and the stone walls and things like that that the board felt were important to this but area. But are you, are you going to have the town accept the road? Or are you it's always a, it's, the town is accepted as a private. Yes, way. but that doesn't mean it gets plowed or anything else. It, does, it does now. The does town now. the town maintains it. The town picks up the trash. Uh, we, you well, know, the town prior... Pick up the trash. The, well, well, yeah, that's trash right. Yeah, that's right. Anywhere. But the town does plow it. They do maintain it. We've talked to Mr. Duffy several times. That, you know, he, Durkey. 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 Did I say Duffy? Durkey. Um, <laughs> and, you know, and he goes out there and, and maintains it the best he can. He, you know, has a he has an issue with turning around at the end, uh, and we've provided a, a turnaround uh, with an appropriate radius and a, and a 60 foot length so that you know right at Mohawk um, he could back in and you know kind of do a K turn and pull out. Are you going to pave it? Yes. Can and, I? Excuse me. I, and you're going to put I, drainage me. in it as well. We are not proposing any drainage in there. No there's, drainage in there. There's, 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 there's no drainage in there now. There's nowhere. Well, there's one catch no. basin at the end of Taylor. Can uh, right at the intersection of Taylor and sure. Bailey. Can I, can I just pull back for a second? And um, what is it you expect from the board tonight? A straw vote? Maybe some input and to say we're back on the board. We're back. You know, we're back working on this because it has been over a year. Just want to refresh the board. How it hadn't been privy to any of these conversations that we had had previously with mm -hmm. Nick. So it's just a refresher. A refresher. Well, my thought is that you know they're going to pave the road, but you're not going to get it accepted. And I think that we should go in that direction because you know that'll be chapter nine money that the town will get. Right now, you don't have any benefit yourselves because we're taking. The town is taking care of the road. We're plowing the road. So you, there's no incentive for you to get it accepted, right? No, no. The, the, <laughs> the incentive is uh, that we're, we're deeding this 
to the town as well as a, a lot if they so choose to sell that as a developable lot yeah you have that the town has that money just um, open space so. and it, or and plus yeah. the open space that right. that was part of the discussions we've had previously as well as with Nick that's how that lot a came about so you're not will you consider getting it accepted through the town that road just the affordable housing as I understand it, Tilly, in order for, for that roadway to be rebuilt to town standards for acceptance, you would need to remove the elements of that road that the planning board has previously stated they want protected. The trees, the stone walls, and so forth. Well, there's no, there's no uh, waiver from the requirement of, uh, of that to of eliminate that? Of course what? there could be. Sure there uh, this is. This board, sure. this board is comprised of a new member, and uh, that's what I would and, say. Anything any board said in the past that wasn't put in writing, naturally, it, it, it's hearsay. Uh, at this point, what I would suggest is that, and I'm only speaking for myself. It looks good to me, and I'm not going to ask the board to to chime in on that because I don't want a straw vote here looks good to me but there are some things that I'm looking at there it sounds like Tilly has issues about the road the other members haven't piped up about what may or may not be on their minds I look at it as the OSRD process itself and you can pull this up when you look at it the way it works is you begin by taking the whole lot and identifying the primary resource areas identifying the secondary resource areas and then at that point, then you draw your lot line. Nick may or may not have taken those into consideration when he tried to possibly assist you or work with you to configure something that would get you yield. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What is uh, resource, what are resource areas? What are the primary areas? It's all in the OSRD, and yeah. Mr. You'll have to work with Colin Thompson. If it was eight right. o'clock, there is no wetlands out here. That yeah. that this site has been walked by a botanist, and there are no wetlands. I'm glad to hear that. Then then you have your resource areas right. pretty much all lined out, and if that's it, you know what? I don't know why you guys are wasting your time sitting here. You could be back drawing up your plans, filling out applications, and <laughs> coming to visit Nick tomorrow morning. Uh, coming to visit Howard tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. and, Oof, you know, be all the way there. Nick, I don't get him anywhere. Nah, you won't get I don't him. remember being concerned about protecting trees and stone walls. Um, Maybe yeah, the neighbors were. I would be. Yeah, I'm, I'm, when, uh, when we walked it, we were all out there for Saturday morning or mm. what it was. And, you know, we brought up that the trees were going to be encroaching, and, and, and somebody had mentioned. You know, well, okay, if you're going to go 18 and, you know, it's 9 now, I mean, maybe you, maybe you bring it down to 13 around the trees or 14 around the trees just to save the trees. doesn't matter. I mean, it, you know, it's it's not a big deal. Yeah. Who owns the, I don't like 18 who owns the trees? Oh, as much as... Who owns the land the trees are on? Town? It's, it's, in, town. it's in, right, it's the, in the private way. Yeah. Oh, then it's not the town. In the private way is owned by adjoining property owners. Right, and we, we have legal opinion that we can we have rights to upgrade that roadway to benefit our property. That was yeah, the that last question you threw at us before yeah, we were here last. Okay. The trees are only going to get to bigger and more. And that's what I would I, personally. I, that's what I would like that road to be accepted and a, a drain in there because you've got Mohawk Circle up there, and you've got it. The elevation goes down, so you're definitely going to have. I don't know what condition the drains are in the bottom of that hill. Right. But that's what I would say. Let's get it cleaned up and be done with it. Why why carry just that section as private ray? That's crazy. While we're mouthing off about the roadway, Mr. Chairman, if I may. Yes, Mr. Rick. If this is going to be an accepted street, you've got a long road to hoe to convince this member that we should make it allow it to be eighteen feet wide. I I and accept I, I think at this point that's one really rotten precedent to set. I, I understand. And I, I think I will be honest with you. I really hate informal sessions. 
I don't think they serve any real purpose. Nothing that's said during them is held in any esteem at the end of the process. You have to have a hearing. It's very nice to visit you. It's really cool. That I love seeing you. Happy to see you. But I don't think they serve any real purpose other than um, showing the board what you may or may not come in with at a later time. Well, you would be but I can tell you, file, at that point, I'll give you all my opinions that I have. To, well, to answer, Chris, and to add on to that, do you know how many roads in town are very used roads that are less than 18 feet? That's then. This is now. But still, it's used, and it's Chapter 90 is getting, you know, we're getting the benefit. So, how long is this road? It's about uh, from Taylor Lane to the end is about 780 feet. 780 feet. And this is all questions. These are all questions that we would we would have to deal with in the in You're the public. Not going to risk public process. safety over Chapter 90, Winter. No, of course not. The that's why I'm going to turn a fire engine around there. That's why I'm. Uh, <laughs> Well, they and I do. know the chairman's biting his lip. We don't have anything in front of us. But these are thoughts that I are know. going through uh, my we, mind. We have Absolutely. In front of us that's why I mentioned the drains, because I know that's a wet area in that street. Okay. It's got a lot of heaves to it. Right. Is there <laughs> anyone that can... Uh, Bob, do you want to uh, give the applicants no, or no, the, uh, the, the, the visitors any input? Tim? Any nope. further input you can think of to give them? So I'd sir. like to see a decent roadway. Yeah, I mean, instead of weaving around trees. Yeah, no, no. no. And where has this been trees? helpful, Mr. Bob? Uh, well, the, can, let me just ahead. back up for one second. I, I, I can appreciate you don't think of uh, informal hearings any good, yeah. but you not you're, a hearing. It's an informal. All right, it's informal it's meeting. Not a hearing. Your, your previous town planner was very strong and actually drew this out for us and said, "This is what I want to see." Okay. So. This is his drawing, not mine. I, I then took this and put it here to get to come back. And that's why we're here, because because uh, Howard's here now, Nick is gone. So we're, we're trying to find out, are we going in the wrong direction by using the previous town planner's comments and suggestions to us? That That's really why we're here. We don't want to go in the wrong direction uh, or a completely different direction. Mm -hmm. No, I like what he did. I do too. It's it's the road to get there. What yeah. other direction would be preferable? I mean, I, I really don't see it, to be honest with you. You do an in and an out, you develop Well, we could potentially not give run. the, you know, we could develop this road um, Yeah, you could plug in and out. Yeah, right. absolutely. And, and, and go for more lots and, and things like that. And that's, we're, we're trying to balance everything. Two acre zoning down there. Right. Yeah. But and there's enough, the, 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 we're, we're giving up. One, two, three, four. We're giving up uh, a lot, basically, from what a, 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 a traditional subdivision. Isn't that, isn't that correct? Well, the four A's. The right? four A's. Well, yeah, we've had the two four A's and then three in the back. Three in the back. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, there was, there was give and no, take. No, I, I, mean, I disagree. I, I think you have one, two, four A's, and then... Three in the back. Uh, where's their frontage? The, we the have road. this right away. The, right the road was going to be extended in. Constructing a road there. Mm -hmm. Right. Isn't that special permit now? To construct a road? Lane. Uh, lane. Lane and lane. Yeah, lane. lane. Right. No, lane. Which, so obviously, we'd have to come to the plan board, but we're just saying that. Right. Those so were the other those, options. Those were the we options. You might have five. You, you might have five. So but this is, this is a lot looking at it. If I had a, if I had to do the clearing, if I had to do the the, the site work, yeah, that's there's less there's less dollars in put in there. Absolutely, that's why getting Bailey Lane. That's your cheaper end. That's your cheaper end for yield. Yeah. How many houses would there Looking be now? Uh, but anyway, by counting three, four, five. Four. Proposing four. Four. That's that's a lot better than you know, and, and what we, you could and, get. And, and we can't afford a full blown. Road that's mm. up to town code, road, that right. it doesn't make any sense. I mean, uh, it's, yeah. it would eat up more than half of it. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, told you nine, and I lied and gave you 20. <laughs> and thank you very much. Thank and you. I, I hope we were able to give you some kind of guidance. I think, yeah. Um, well, it's late at night. Yeah. I don't know thank, if you. We're... thank you, folks. Okay. Okay. See you. Motion to adjourn by Chris. Second. 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 Wow. <laughs> we're ready. By Chris. <laughs> seconded by everyone. Uh, seconded by, by Bob. Watts, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed, the ayes have it. Motion carries unanimous. Meeting adjourned at, look at that, 9.58 p.m. Good night, everybody. See you in two weeks. Will we be using this?